Hey there, everybody. I am George Zeke and Liu, and with me here is Mr. Playoff Beard. That's he is me. here to show off his newly sh or not so newly shaven beard now. This is a while ago now. It is. It's been like a week or two. Where did my hoodie go? It's a little chilly. That made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> but in any case, welcome to the official live stream. We have some news for you. We have some tier three skins for you, and we have some very special reveals. So. This should be pretty cool. This is gonna be a huge show. You are in the right place. We have multiple surprises. What is it, three, four surprises? But the first surprise is that- No, no, don't do it yet. No, 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 the servers. <laughs> oh, sure, they got, we got like eight surprises. Yeah, so we should probably tell you about this. Um, we're gonna be bringing down the servers yep. um, quite soon. Boop. Servers are down for hotfix. Is that true now? Did someone tell you? I ah, don't it's know, it's close but enough. I can both it up now anyway. Um, this is our ongoing saga <laughs> of uh, our little roller coaster mm -hmm. of fixing the hotfix that fixes the hotfix mm -hmm. that fixes the hotfix. But um, it is getting better and better. <laughs> 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 All right, so this is not 1.6. No. But it is uh, more progress, let's yes. say. But it has a chance for us to spend some time with all of you. And um, we have some very, very big stuff. So we're going to make it worth your while. We have two mm -hmm. different types of tier three skin things that we are revealing. That's pretty cool. We have a very big thing that people do not expect today. Mm hmm. Um, that people can decide what they think it means. Even bigger than the world's thingy? Yeah, well, wow. I don't know. It depends on who you are or what you think. That's true. Um, and then we have more things. More things. So there are a lot of things happening. We just um, have more and you're more You're definitely things. in the right place. We're also gonna be revealing some details. You might have seen my blog post mm -hmm. about um, skill tier progression, pain, getting into uh, some of the details of casual versus ranked Q. Mm -hmm. um, we are gonna be going even deeper today. We are gonna reveal the requirements, the criteria of the casual and ranked Qs, what it means for you, how it's gonna improve your experience. Right. So it is a packed show um, on just, which- Just a little bit. We will play matches if we can, otherwise we have um, some stuff that we can show. So if the servers go down, we cannot play games, obviously. Right. So, um, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a party. It'll be fun. Sounds It'll like be maybe. It'll be pretty exciting. I think you guys are gonna, definitely gonna enjoy this. All right, so it sounds like around 2.30 is when the okay. servers are gonna go so down. So should we try so cramming you're... in a game right now? Yeah, I think so. All right. I think so. Before so, we show off any yeah. skins. So we're gonna get a game with Zekent here first. We're gonna play a game real fast while we still have the opportunity to before the servers go down. So I'm gonna turn this back Fix off. Fix mic. What are they saying? Something, audio is crackling. Audio is crackling. All right, give me one moment. All right, that should fix it. Okay. I think we're good. Let us know if that's better. Hello, Saber6. Thank you for joining the uh, band of Vainglory broadcasters. Hello to everybody who is here. Sounds like we're about a half hour out, so servers aren't down. Servers are about a half hour true. out from being down. All right, I am gonna log into the European servers because why not? It's been a while since I play on Europe and it's always fun there. So I'm hoping that Evil Finn will come in in a couple minutes really quick on news. So, um, we are starting the process for update 1.5.4, which is kind of our continued cleanup following mm -hmm. 1.5. Um, only be a very, very short downtime, I'm told. Um, evil Finn's gonna come in later, talk a little bit about Super Evil versus Europe tour mm. that is gonna be happening. I don't even honestly know the details about this. I think it means that devs are gonna be going throughout Europe and have special events where there'll be a schedule where people can figure out where to find them and or can play games against devs and hang out and do um, fun stuff. So that along with everything fun. else that is happening, that is happening and I'm hopeful that uh, Evil Finn will come and give us details on that. But multiple reveals today. Um, Head the Shred telling All me. All right, um, I have some people invite to this game. Before we do any reveals, we're gonna do one quick game because we wanna play one before the servers go down. So. Right now, I'm on the European servers. We got Densky, Noah A, Noah Marv, Delete, Linosec279, and Ordifero. I think Ordifero is supposed to be really good, right? He's gonna kick my butt. I hope so. Man. Let's see it. I'll call I this match. I should put him on my team. We're gonna get in this game as fast as we can because um, in about a half hour, servers are gonna go down for a very brief period of time. Why don't you have Fortress unlocked on this account? I get with it, man. Come don't on. actually know. <laughs> this 
might not be a dead flag to count. So I feel like it should be. <laughs> All right. Weird. So yes, a lot. Oh gosh. So Brizzle McFizzle using the new. So if if people aren't aware of this, so um, Ferris, you should watch his broadcast. He put on Twitter, what should his next emotes been be for Ooh. subscribing to his channel? And one of them is a Fury Deal With It emote, <laughs> and it's amazing. So that was my suggestion. They took my suggestion. I feel very, very oh proud. Oh Brizzle McFizzle showing it off. Here's Evil Finn. Come tell us Hello there. about Super Evil vs. Europe. Hello. Tell us more. How are you? I'll be right back. You tell him about that. I'll tell him about that. Hi everyone, how's it going? How are you, George? I'm doing well. well. I'm about to play a game here. Awesome. In the meantime, well, you can tell people about stuff. I am going to tell about stuff. Ooh. So, Europe, we're coming for you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, you mean you're going back to Europe? Well, technically I'm going back, but actually a lot of folks who haven't been there from our office are going as well. Exciting. So, we have something pretty cool in the works. So we're going to be doing a small European tour, but it's actually a really cool opportunity to come meet with the devs, hang out with us um, in some key, key cities in Europe. So from our end, Nansen, our CEO, will be there. Also, Captain Nito. Ooh. Ooh, very, very rare traveler from our office will be in Europe, um, accompanied by Naked Green, the one and only amazing streamer, um, and of course Evil Finn. I will be there as the resident European, I guess. Um, <laughs> we got a few Europeans. <laughs> we got a few. Um, so I'll be posting this on our forums really soon, and it will also be on the news feed so you can read all the details. But here's the tour dates. So 22nd June will be in Moscow, Harasho, Nazdarovye, and then on 23rd will be in Berlin, Guten Tag, Danke schön. That's all my German. Um, you 20, need 100 your German already. 24th will be in Paris, Bonjour, Comment ça va? That one I can a little actually, and then London on the 25th. Um, what's Londonese? Uh, cheers! Uh, cheers? <laughs> cheers. Okay, let's go with that. Yeah, uh, patata or something. Um, and then... Whatever you say, Haney, uh, whatever you say. On the 26th Friday, we'll end up in Madrid. Hola, que tal, muy bien. Hace <laughs> calor en España. Um, so, come hang out with us, come meet with us. Um, we have very limited space, so we're taking it by applications. I'll be publishing this on our forum, so stay tuned over there. Um, come meet with us, it would be awesome to hang out, can get some swag. Yeah, that is it, that is my tour to Europe. Sweet, Sounds fun. boom! <laughs> I had in a special guest who will join us a bit later on. Thank you, Evil Ben! Thank you. All right, let's call a game. All we right. have so many surprises today. Make sure you uh, sub to follow Ferris's channel so you can get this amazing Fury uh, deal with it emote. <laughs> that is my favorite I of anybody's that's what today. He's going with. It's so so great. That's hilarious. All right, so Z Kent on Celeste. He is dropping the Heliogenesis stars. Uh, one thing to note, in the next update, we got a couple additional sound effects for Heliogenesis in Ooh, there. Exciting. So, Because in the current kit, you use that ability a lot, so we added a few variations so that it's not the same one over and over again. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Australia is Kingy 1974, as you probably know, is its own continent. Um, so probably not a part of the uh, Super Evil vs. Europe tour. but. Uh, I don't think Australia is in um, Europe. That's what I'm saying. Maybe Austria. <laughs> Wait, Austria? Where is Austria? Austria and Australia have nothing to do with each other. I mean, maybe they're confusing <laughs> with the Austria. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Know, but... Austria's in Europe, right? Anyway, so we have a lot to talk about today as we go on. After this match, we'll start to get into the reveals. We have like 18 reveals today. There's so many reveals. We're going to talk in detail about uh, Casual Burst Rank Q, what it means for you. Uh, so a lot of fun still to come, and at some point we'll bring the servers down to do the 154 update that fixes the fixes for the fixes. <laughs> Fantastic. That is a uh, for the people ridiculous. asking where people will where that Super Evil vs. Europe tour will go. Um, Evil Finn should be posting in the forums very soon. It was li she was literally reading off of the forum post on her screen. She just hadn't hit the publish button yet, so that will be uh, soon. Austria yeah. is not part of Australia. I am quite sure of that. Okay, let's see. Ouch. Sugar Venom is here. That makes me so happy inside. Okay, you got hit by a fortress, it would look like, because yeah, you were really trailing hurt. things. I'm not okay with that. Ow. Wow, you're getting poked getting by the up. jewel. There are um, some jewel changes internally that we're looking at for the next update. Nothing too major, but we are aware of the fact that uh, she is getting a lot of bans in competitive play right now, and, uh, and we know why. We certainly know why. 
All right, so Z Kent just making sure he's uh, sticking and moving here. He's using his heliogenesis stars. Those heliogenesi. That's right. Or whatever they're called. Are you doing that thing? I didn't see what level you you are. You're waiting on I'm level waiting. five. I am waiting. So do people know about this thing where oh, if you don't take an ability at level five, say in this case the second ability, then at level six you can put points in the first and the third. This is true. It's a little trick. You see it on stream a lot. But if you're looking to maximize an ability and you don't mind having fewer points in something else. So Celeste's a great example. You only really need one point in core collapse to in order to, to peel for yourself or try mm -hmm. to stun somebody. So uh, he'll wait until six and then he'll put a point in his first ability and a point in his third. All right. Yeah. The action continues. We don't have the spectator cam, so we can enjoy Z Kent moving back and forth, we... collecting gold. There he is. Look at that. He's going back and forth. You know what? Who is the best person at going back and forth like that? Pedal with the pedal skin. It's true. It looks it amazing. Looks amazing. <laughs> it looks amazing when you do that. It's really adorable. It is really fantastic. Sugar Venom, how are you today? I am so excited. I just wanted to do a Fury? Yeah. Yeah, isn't that so sweet? That is so sweet. So you got to go uh, subscribe. It costs like five bucks. You got to subscribe to follow Ferris's channel to get that deal with it Fury emote. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen. They did a great job with it. There are enemies in my bushes. This All right. So if you're asking questions about casual and rank Q, hold those questions for now. Wait until we have gotten to that uh, part of the broadcast, and then I'll try to pay attention to your questions as we go. But to be perfectly frank, you know, if I'm not saying it today, then I probably don't know it, and then I wouldn't be able to answer the question. I'm going to try to be pretty exhaustive as best I know how. Sounds all right. good to me. I am. Well, we're, I think we're all a little exhausted. <laughs> Hard push uh, toward the next update, but it's uh, it's a fun process. That it is. How is this going for you so far? I can't really tell. I don't think I'm doing too hot. What are you going to do? Are you going like to go... Adjusting to European lag. Are you going to go Shatterglass Eve? I'm considering it. Seems like a pretty good option. Will that make you happy? It would make me pretty happy. I do like having big damages. Someone get the enemies. As it looks as the, the, the Fold Podcast folks are here. That is fun. I so gotta many say, people last from so many places. It's difficult. Obviously, um, I hope everyone is watching the VGL, uh, especially the SEA Cup and the NA Cup happening right now. Oh yeah. As those are going to determine two spots in the World Invitational Tournament in Korea, in Seoul. So um, those first, but the fact that Fusion played Gangstars <laughs> on the first day in the second yeah. match, absolutely crazy. I haven't gotten to watch the archives of the SEA broadcast yet, but I was told there was some phenomenal matches there as well. So um, everyone make sure, you know, go to VaingloryLeague.com if you're not sure of the times, mm -hmm. but uh, keep following that. The stakes are super high, just as the stakes are going to be really high starting this weekend with um, the ESL, or beginning and ending this weekend, oh, I yeah. believe. It's just, you know, all the mustard here this weekend in ESL, the EU Cup that's going on, where the, there are some NA teams in it too. But the winner of that cup, if it's a European team, is going to the Worlds in Korea. If an NA team wins, then to be perfectly clear, um, the ESL is the European qualifier. So mm -hmm. um, if, a, if, say, Collab or someone won the EU Cup, then it would be the... EU team or the ESL Cup, then it would be the EU team that advanced the farthest in the tournament. And if two EU teams like tied for semifinal placement, then uh, we would go to overall points. Overall points in the in all the cups combined uh, would determine which EU team we will send to Korea. That sounds about right. Pretty exciting things. Taka is there and not. Wow, there comes Fortress. He's a gank machine. He puts a oh, truth no. of the truth in the jewel. It's a nice big red button. Drops our hero Z Kent and he dies. Stormlord Arden is in trouble. The prey mark on him and Taka goes even deeper. Taka's going There's in. the attack of the pack coming in as well as Taka does what he can. So, you know, this is what you like to see. If, if you haven't played, are you going to do a solar storm? I threw a solar storm. You threw a solar, but you didn't follow it with your camera. You got to follow it with your Whoa. camera. Where's it going? What was the purpose of this? I don't know. Was that just for fun? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes right. you just have to run for fun. for fun. Obviously, uh, if you haven't played a ton of Fortress yet, he's a ganking machine. He is an, an initiating machine. Mm -hmm. And um, 
people can tell me in the chat if they think I'm wrong, but what, in my experience, um, aggressiveness is rewarded with Fortress. This is true. Um, you gotta play aggressively, but, it, but you're not gonna be the primary damage dealer. He's all about his utility that he brings to the team. He's empowering his teammates, he's initiating fights, and he gives you really unparalleled uh, vision and objective control, being able to use attack of the pack to know where enemies are on a global basis. You can get all sorts of great information just by triggering that ability. You can find out, hey, oh, there's one enemy in the base, so we can create a right. 3v2 right now, or we jewel. can steal a Kraken, or, you know, all that is great for Fortress. So Hello. now Zekant just doing all sorts of things with uh, Heliogenesis here, pushing the jewel completely out of lane. This looks like it's my tower. I know, it's, it's, they just That's left it here. for killing me. They just left it here for you to take. Uh -oh. Even if you die right now, it's fine. Oh no, I died. Oh, it was not turret. fine. So now it's not fine. Now I'm not sure if you can call Worth now. Worth? <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop me. I'll call Worth whenever I want. Wait, is he here or is he, he is. not? Oh, so he's probably going to a playtest. All right, so we have a special guest in today. Uh, he lives locally, so we try to get him in, and uh, it looks like he's going into a playtest. Sounds good. He's playtesting all sorts of changes that are coming. I hear rumors. These things don't necessarily make it to live, but rumors that um, we are testing. Well, not rumors. We are testing. <laughs> we are testing pedal changes. We are testing. No, we're not. The we lie to love. We are testing jewel changes. We are testing, um, you know, more subtle changes on other things. Uh, rumor has it that uh, those jungle monsters may not be doing true damage anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a cap of fun. Yeah, I actually love it. I love getting beaten up by the monsters. I don't know why I'm masochistic like that. I find it like hilarious. That. The light is your It's really nice when you get your ass beat by the jungle monster. That's really fun. Yes, yeah, so if you joined us late, we have like 1,800 reveals today. We haven't done any of them yet. So stay tuned, hang out. We're getting in a match off the top because we're going to be bringing the servers down for the hotfix of the hotfix of the hotfix. And we wanted to try to get a game in with folks like you before the servers went down. So you can oh taking a lot of damage and another successful gank led by Fortress. That team, can you go to the scoreboard for a second so people can see what's That's what? I'm buying. I don't care if you buy. So the Jewel, Taka, and Fortress. The Jewel going Book of Eulogies, which works out really well as a start in lane. Is she going, I didn't get to see, is she, she going is all going weapon? Crystal. She is still going Crystal, but starts book anyway. That's pretty Everyone typical. starts book. Uh, for anyone who's seeing that black screen after the game, you just have to hard quit the app and relaunch it, but that is one of the reasons why we have a mandatory update coming today. Um, to get rid of all this crap. Um, yep. But it is not a, this is not 1.6. This is not the like new update happening today, but we are gonna reveal a lot of cool stuff that is coming in 1.6 in the next major update and talk about a lot more. Taka getting caught with a Ouch. core collapse. Celeste able to get the solar this. storm off before this she goes worth. down. Fortress has nowhere to go. He triggers a sprint boots. He tries to escape, He's but there done. is a vanguard. Taka is fast and slippery worth as well. It. They're going to turn on the gold mine. It doesn't matter if Zekent is dead. It doesn't matter if Zekent is 0 and 4 and stinking up the joint because he is an inspirational leader. Yep, my teammates are carrying me. That's sometimes what you got to do. Just let your teammates hey, carry you. Hey, I don't victory. care if you die if you facilitate sequences exactly. like that. Exactly. It was it's so People worth. get too caught up in the KDA and if you're dying or not. You know, if you die but it leads to a gold mine and a double kill, then die. Oh, yeah. All right. Like, if they're gonna focus me, let them focus me. I'll go a little bit tanky, I'll let our talk do the work, and we should be fine. All right, Z Kent with a Shatter Glass. He's got a Piercing Shard. That Piercing Shard rather popular right now. Uh, let's see what else. The Fountain is on Arden. He won't show me, I'm not in Spectator, he won't show me things, so I can't talk about it more. Taka going Sorrow Blade. Love Sorrow Blade on Taka. Try three Sorrow Blades on Taka. It feels oh super gosh, good, it terrifying. doesn't even matter. What is this person asking? We do skins that change, hero move colors and effects. Yes, uh, fish butt. Um, we have three tiers to every skin, and uh, the higher you go, the more cool like stuff you will this. see for sure. Wow, you hit a scout trap. I hit a scout trap. Poor Fuji died to a scout trap in that in that fusion versus Gangstars match. Mm -hmm. You might be able to see that uh, later on. We will definitely see that later on. Okay, we might even have a special guest to talk us through it. This is true. Not talk us. Talk us through, through it. But talk, talk us through us. Talk us through it. Oh. 
That's a great point out of Sugar Venom. So we have this weird thing right now, which is part of why we're doing a, a, a update, which is that uh, you'll go to a black screen after a match rather than all the good things. The important thing to note is that if you go to the, your My Cards section, any cards you earned are there. Oftentimes the black screen happens because you got a card. So if you true. go check My Cards, you'll probably see more cards. You will always get your glory. You will always get your credit for the win and, and any you know, ELO that you deserve. So um, don't worry about any of that. It's just annoying, but it's one of the things that oh, we're man. clearing up. There's another oh, excellent big red button. You saw the 596 popping out. Celeste kind of has a health. little bit of shielding, but not enough. And, uh, and yeah, getting some health Skin definitely ages. helps with that. Let's get some health and I'll be Enemy fine. Team collected from For sure. Can you buy tier tier one, two, and three skins oh, with ice? Nice. You can only Aww. buy. Oh, what happened? Was it the wolf? You can only buy tier one skins with ice. The other two tiers you have to get with cards. Right now, that is nearly impossible because um, we have not opened the get card section of the market Aww. yet. But the get card section of the market is coming in 1.6, and then it, and then getting tier twos and even tier threes will be possible. Much more reasonable. Yeah, so we know hang tight because just the whole system isn't in place yet, but we're getting closer and closer to that happening. Your this solar storms have been a little wanting in this I'm match. gonna blame lag. <laughs> <laughs> the EU lag? I'm just gonna blame lag. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right, Zekent, oh, five and two. I'm doing great. But he's great. still contributing. This is true. He's still contributing. All I need is a broken myth. I love Celeste. And I don't think so. I, I, think, I, I, I think Celeste is actually in a great place. You I just have too. to play smart and preferably without lag from playing, you know, across the board. You have to be better than me. <laughs> Not too hard. Well, you're still doing better than I did oh. in that one game. Was that the game against JW Blue when I was playing Celeste? Probably. All right, so people that can be a little less butt. hard on me because the same thing is happening to Zeke under the same circumstances. All right. If you joined us late, we haven't done any of the reveals yet. We have a million things to come, so hang out. It is going to be fun. It is going to be a party. There are two different things we're going to show with Tier 3 skin reveals. We're going to show art for one, and we're going to show in-game video for another. So you're going to get kind of a potpourri today of different things. Nice to do the solar storm right down that corridor. A core oh, collapse catches a couple out. people. Zekan is lagged out and is gonna die. The reflex block gets triggered, which maybe he wasn't lagged out by that point, but uh, it's going pretty well for red team. It is going pretty well for red team. Things are looking pretty rough for us. Uh, lots more skins, yes, coming in 1.6. For sure. Mm -hmm. Let's, Let's see. see, getting real time updates. We're getting close to this server maintenance. Uh, another extra 15 to 30 minutes. So it sounds like more like around 3 o'clock now, 3 Pacific. So about a half an hour, 40 minutes from now is most likely when we will take the servers down for the 154 update, mm. which should fix the issues that you are experiencing on live right now. Sounds good. And th sorry about all of that. After this match, we'll start to get into all the good fun stuff. Very sad that... Kraken has been unleashed against Z Kent. He's dropping yeah, the Heliogenesis. It's money. We'll see if they don't if they don't follow gold. it up. If they don't follow it up, it certainly is. This maintenance window, by the way, will be very short if you're used to these long maintenance windows when we do the full uh, updates. That is not that a nice solar storm takes out Fortress. I can't miss this point blank, right? Turf. I know, seriously. Finally a good solar storm out of Z Kent. Helga is gonna go down before the turret, which is a good sign. And where Densky with a Vanguard going? in on Taka. Oh, he x Retsu's in off my screen. Trying to get to delete, Ooh. but instead Jewel deletes two people with a double Such kill power. and Densky is forced to run. So yeah, Jewel is a little strong right now. Um, that was a great play. I think that play should be rewarded no matter what. But, uh, but if you are thinking or saying that uh, Jewel might be a little strong, we are aware of that. And uh, time to buy some health. We'll take care of you. I just need to buy some health now. Helga is what we call Kraken internally. That is not an official name. Not until uh, Sugar Venom writes a piece of lore that, that makes it canon. No, we should, I, I called Kraken Helga, and then someone was like, who's Helga? So I was like, it's not really Helga, unless Sugar Venom writes something. I that lore. It's in your email box. I don't know. That was a thing from Lady Wabish and Gibbs' streams way back in the day. 
trying to name what they were like what should we name kraken yeah all right so z kent now a phenomenal one and seven i'm doing but, great but you I'm know what he's about. got a clockwork he's got a shatter glass he has an aegis so you know what's interesting is there's a couple different approaches you can take with a blue celeste or a blue jewel you can build a clockwork or you can just get a lot of crystal infusions mm. either one will work yeah. i actually really like the infusions on jewel in particular that's how you got to use celeste you have to core collapse Ouch, we got laser for blue. yourself but the big red <laughs> button through the wall what an angle what an angle so it doesn't matter how much you buff or nerf big red button when you have beautiful beautiful alts like that they're Such gonna pain. they're Such gonna damage. take people out yeah very very good very very good that's 25 second death timers on mm -hmm. zekent's entire team so chalk one up for the eu servers today as zekent having a bit of a struggle I don't know where the team went. There they are. You might as well win this game rather than wait. So they're going to push down this other vein turret. You can tank Pretty it. Close. You can tank it. Come on, Pretty guys. Close. Don't don't be afraid. You can win the game or not. Okay, so they decided they didn't want to win just yet. Solar Storm comes out. Will it connect with anyone? Instead, it's going to fly across the screen. We're going to follow it all the way. Oh, that was it's so not mean. going anywhere. I wanted to call it all the way across the screen. It wasn't even going anywhere. It could have hit a jungle monster. Could have. All right. I did it. Let's see. It's so nice seeing the Halcyon fold without those crazy OP clouds that were making everything dark. So it's nice to see the map again. That was another one of those funny things that snuck in. That it was. All right. Buy me a crystal infusion. I'm gonna get hit by a scout trap. Not exciting. If you joined us late, in about a half an hour, we will be bringing the servers down. Uh, for a brief, very short maintenance, much shorter than usual, in order to get um, this latest hotfix out that should clear up the issues that people are experiencing on live, especially the kind of black screen of doom that forces you to cl quit your app and yes. uh, and bring it back, even though you are getting all your uh -oh, rewards. The minions. Oh, the minions are real. Yeah, they do have a oh, wait, minion minions. mine, and those those minions are so much more lethal now than they were in the past. A lot of updates to come. A lot of updates to come. Or updates. A lot of reveals to come, a lot of surprises to come. I think people are going to be a little bit surprised by what we have to show today. Oh, look, that was nice. It didn't take Some a Kraken, but it did, it did put a little bit of fear in their hearts. But unfortunately, no one uh, close enough to actually steal the Kraken. So instead, you can't. Looks like they got it. We'll cry. And this is likely a loss. We will do ice after this match. Uh oh. Harden. Densky wants to make a last stand, it appears. So it it doesn't really matter where you make your last stand since you don't have any turrets. It totally does. We have one whole turret. I don't do know you? What you're talking about. Oh, you do have a little bit of turret we have left. have one whole turret. A little teeny bit of turret left. That journey is boots? one whole turret. Yeah. Oh, it's a curious time for journey boots. Oh, this is the best time for journey boots. <laughs> X-Retsu coming in. No more is in trouble. Delete backs off. There's a rocket leap that misses. The solar storm comes in. Helga marching down to that turret. One shot ought to do it. Very upset. No, one more. I lied. And the shoulder puts the turret to sleep. They're able to put some damage on the vein crystal now. Zekent doing what he can. The heliogenesis, the supernova almost deletes delete, but he survives. Now it's multiple members in on Zekent, but he likes to kill people. Helga, meanwhile, though, is going to win the game, and GG! GG! There it is! Not Zekent's best effort, but I great. can feel I was at a like two, I'm eight and four. not alone in performing horribly on stream. So thank you. Maybe you did that just to make me feel better. I wouldn't put it past <laughs> him. He's that nice a guy. And I've had such a bad run on stream. Although I think the last no, we match won the was last okay. One. Last match was yeah. okay, but I had a really bad run there. So maybe Z can't just trying to make me feel better. Yep. So good game to um, Ordifero, Delete, and Linosec. And thanks for playing Densky and No Amarv. Yeah. No Amarv. So, so about a half hour from now, we will have server <laughs> downtime for the latest hotfix. We are going to do some ice giveaways. Make sure you're following the channel. <laughs> and <laughs> awesome. So in the meantime, a break should for we uh, should we show off this this tier three not, surprise? Not yet. Not first, yet. Do the ice first. Okay, ice first. All right. Ice first. So who was there a star of that match or? 
Um, I don't know. I think Lino Sec or whoever was on or Jeffro? Jewel? Whoever was on Jewel did pretty well. Laser beam goes in the face a few Jewel. times. Jewel. All right. So type Jewel to win ice. Jewel was the MVP of the last game. Jewel to win ice. All right. So everyone type Jewel. Uh, NOA is knobs on action. Apparently best guild in Germany. Awesome. Yep. So, yeah. Very cool. Congratulations to them. Shout out to that guild. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. And we're going to let some of these, look at these people. It's always the usual suspects who like jump in first. It's like Brad from the Shadow of the Vein podcast, Exceptions, leader of the One Ice Guild, Halcyon Lord, Gibbs. Ride is everywhere. I don't know. He doesn't sleep. Ride? That's what he uses Who's in, in game, usually. I see river. Oh, That's I'm what so he uses behind. usually. Okay. Rumbly yeah, superset Shin Kaigen, our own dev to cheesy jumping in. <laughs> All right, if the cheesy the wins ice. this, I'm gonna take away his dev really? flag. Don John doing a <laughs> Don John doing a fine job on uh, on the VGLs. those VGL broadcasts. Same with Wolf Hands, who, mm -hmm. who is as well. And Wolf Hands, um, for the record, uh, helped us out with the scavenger hunt oh, list. Yeah. Oh, we have, Wolf Hands is awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we you want to come on camera. Yeah, I no. mean, you're always no it doesn't want to come on camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, we're probably not going to unveil the scavenger hunt today just because we, we are so jam-packed. We couldn't really do it justice mm -hmm. today. But uh, thank you, Wolf Hands, for, for helping us put that together. Maybe we'll, we'll, you know, we'll get it out there. Yeah. We'll get it out there as, as Some point soon. in time. <laughs> Very soon. Yeah. So, all right. So you can stop saying, Jewel. We got everyone here. Let us give away some ice. The first winner of today is Friday, right? Today is Friday. 500 Correct. ice to Javitorco wins. <laughs> Javistico? 500 ice. I don't even know how to say this name. Hard name. I think that that's a, that's a Yavi. Yavis. Oh, maybe. Yavis that's, a, that's a good call. That's a good call. Need <laughs> player name. So, uh, Yavi. We need your Congratulations. player name. We sent you a private message to uh, your Twitch inbox. You have to reply to that and give us your player name in order to get your ice. And if you don't figure out how to do that, then everyone will be sad or you could just email support. Yup. I have too many windows open. All right, the second winner. Next up we have MFO1990. MFO1990. Wins 500 ice. Congratulations. There will be someone inducted into the One Ice Guild. Irish TV, the latest member to join. That was very mm -hmm. exciting. All right. Congratulations to MoFo 1990. 1990, a good year for rock I music. Think, Much better than rock I think music Gibbs today. said that we need surprise birthday to present all these surprises. Look at all these surprises we have on our stream today. Surprise birthday. We got birthdays. tier three surprise. We got very special reveals. We got tier three surprise part two. The only problem is surprise birthday is working on very important things. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's working on a surprise. All right. Uh, stop saying the things now. We're all good. Last winner of ice for this match is... I am Prodigy44. Wins 500 ice. Congratulations. We'll do some more ice later in the broadcast because we're nice people. Are we, though? At least Sugar Venom is. What? what? Fair enough. I totally wasn't listening to you. What did you say <laughs> I said you're a me? nice person. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, if anyone is still hasn't gotten their ice, then that's totally my bad, and I'll go through the list and make sure everyone got their ice. We we are we are behind. This there is true. Is, there is no All doubt right. about that. Are we? Is it time for the tier three surprise? Number one. Number one, part one. Is it? Should we do it? I think so. All right. I think so this. So right here, what we're about to reveal. Oh, let me. Can, can I set it up? Will you let me you set it should. up? You should. All right. So. We haven't shown any tier threes yet. No. And people don't really know what it means in our game, you know, to have a tier three, really. This is true. So today, you're going to start to get a sense of the kind of things that are in store mm -hmm. if you manage to achieve that tier three skin. You obviously will not be able to achieve any tier three skins until the get card section right. of the market is open. And they're actually um, just not in the game right now. <laughs> yeah, but that's coming in the next update. Mm -hmm. So this is on the way. The hype is real. This is the first piece. We're going to show one art for one. We're going to show in-game footage for another. Mm -hmm. So this is your first peek at a tier three skin. Make right it go. Here, right now. Boom. This is Shogun Ringo. 
Tier this is three. like not even a Shogun Ringo. <laughs> Tier this is like three. Ringoism terrifying. <laughs> I don't even know what he is anymore. <laughs> this is Ringo, Shogun Ringo Tier 3. I don't even know how much detail we should get into. We can let people speculate how yeah. this would translate into the game. But I will tell you this art does translate into the game, and we've been playing playtests with it's this skin. It's pretty awesome. It is pretty freaking amazing. So yeah, uh, what does that look like to you? This is like super crazy demon Ringo or something. <laughs> with, I don't even know. It looks like, certainly looks like there's flames coming out of the barrel there. You know what I like the best about this flash art? I like that little minion in the background. He's like punching a tree or something. <laughs> he is. He's like doing a kata. Yeah. He's just he's punching like, a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like he's, right? This is what it seems yeah. like he's doing. He's doing, it's pretty he's great. doing a little of this, right? To the tree. Hi yeah. Yeah. It, it seems like it. It seems like it. But uh, Ringo tier three. Yeah. yeah that's what we're saying. That's what we're back. talking about in training. Yeah, I don't but Ringo <laughs> tier three, the it looks like the whole arm is mm -hmm. affected. Oh yeah, and flames coming out of the the revolver. So um, I was gonna say, the in game is, it's something special. Yeah, it is. It is special. It is special. So um, stay tuned for that. Yeah, this is confirmed for one dot six. Mm -hmm. Shogun Ringo tier three confirmed for one dot six. All right. So we have a lot more where this came from. This is true. Should we do this uh, match? Um, is there a special guest around? Let me see if the guest is around. Oh, All okay. right. He can help talk through this match. We'd like that. We would like that indeed. Let's just show his skin a little bit more. <laughs> Those eyes. So Holy please cow. tell us in the chat, tell us in the Vainglory Game subreddit or Twitter or the forums what you think this I feel like means. this is an odd time to reveal a Ringo skin. Because Ringo's not in the hero rotation this week. Oh, for the first time, hashtag deal with it. Well, second time. The first time in like forever. <laughs> Fair enough. It's amazing. Fair enough. It's amazing. I love it. All right. Do we have a person? Is our, is our guest person? here? Oh my All gosh, right. it is a person. So person. we have we'll with us right over. here, Mr. Fuji. Hi. He's hey. back again. What's up? It's Fuji. <laughs> it's me. Currently. What's up? No, we're good. Oh, no, I think we're no. good. We're going so, into downtime. So, yeah, come on up and join us. Yeah, there you go. Now he's tall. He's a, he's a pretty ripped dude. All right, so uh, Fuji ha it lives pretty local to us, mm -hmm. which gives us a chance to bring him in, have him uh, help us test some things out, make sure that it's good for yep. all the players. And, uh, yes, everyone's saying happy birthday in the chat. Oh, yeah, it was my birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks. Happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. So yeah. Fuji is also, uh, for the purposes of the NAVGL Cup, is mm -hmm. a member of Team Fusion. Yeah. A pretty exciting group of people. It's you, old school, and wrecked. Pawn, and wrecked. And wrecked, yeah. And they were like Team Legacy for a bit. And they they, they, they kind of wreak havoc on public queue, but don't do a lot of competitive. Not yeah, not yet. This is like kind of their this is their first foray, I suppose, into mm -hmm. competitive play. So So that's pretty exciting to see by the pure luck of the draw, mm -hmm. you guys ended up in the very first match having to play the Gangstars like, Gang A team. Yeah. So I was like, when I watched uh, Blueberries do the uh, random generator, uh, you know, you just assume out of like 60 plus teams, you'll be playing someone random. But nope, it was just, <laughs> it was just like right like, there. Good like, luck. And it was the last bracket. So like he's scrolling, scrolling, and I haven't seen like Gangstars. I haven't seen our name. And I'm like, certainly. Like, <laughs> Can't scrolls, possibly. And then the last bracket comes up and I'm like, oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> One of us yeah. has to go to the loser's bracket right away. That's true. One of us has to. So. All right. So, um. If All you've right. seen this match before, we're going to show you this match. It's a short match. Um, we're going to show you this match. Uh, if you've seen it before, you're going to get to hear Fuji talk it through. Mm -hmm. So you probably keep it on mute. I have it on mute. Yeah. And it's if you totally haven't muted. seen it before, some unbelievable team fights in this game. Yep. So it's worth, it'll be short. We'll do ice afterward, and then we have more reveals to come. For sure. Here we go. Sweet. So yeah, just uh, once we get it going... So even at this stage, you see mm -hmm. the comps, what are you thinking? Or what are you t telling your team? Um, so we know they're going to push early. Uh, Fortress is all about early mid-game control. Uh, if you don't get that with Fortress, he falls off pretty hard late game. So like, if you can't get your team a little bit of an early snowball, it's, he's not as effective. 
but yeah, so we knew that. We knew that they would come in early, um, and so we weren't sure if they were going to come in all three uh, or if uh, Iraqi was going to stay in lane. So we definitely thought this was a, a good time to go ahead and like pull the back camps over. Um, so what we talked about doing was like just having like Rekt pull the health minion, and I was going to pull the back. And we kind of had an idea they would invade. You notice the flare because we were checking. Uh, but uh, we thought we were going to at least be able to clear these pretty safely, but they actually just ended up walking all the way through and, uh, and picking up this. So exactly how we expected the early to go, but we just wanted to play it safe. I mean, Kroll is not an early game champion at all. And if so. anyone doesn't know who these teams are, these are all Vainglorious tier players. These mm -hmm. are two of the best teams in North America and just mm -hmm. happen to have to face each other in the very first match of the tournament. That's why I was going to get random draws, right? That's random, <laughs> yeah. double elimination. Yeah, it's a good thing. Um, so we felt pretty confident, though, even with the matchup, because we knew that our mid to late game was going to be pretty strong. We just had to get there. Um, so, I mean, it, for the most part in the early game, our goals were simply to just defend. Um, but they like to be very aggressive. Uh, as you can see here, they're already coming back over. And we knew that. So instead of trying to do something fancy on their side of the jungle, you notice us setting up scouts and stuff in our own tribe bush to be able to, uh, to be effective. So we did call for Old School to come down and help, uh, help out. I think there was a little bit of target confusion because I think Old School yeah. was going on their box. Unfortunately, because Old School chose to go that direction, Cole was able to get a very easy singled out afterburn on him. And there's no way we could really compete because otherwise uh, the fortress would have died there for sure. Fortress was, well, I mean, there's a number of times in this game where <laughs> fortress, pretty much everybody on their team was kind of just like hanging on. But uh, I think that's foreshadowing. It, it is foreshadowing a little bit, but <laughs> spoilers, spoilers, um, not super specific. So you know they're able to obviously take uh, take a lot of farm from that, and they invested a heavy amount of money in scout traps for. Oh wow, I didn't even game, realize. So. Oh no, that wasn't ours. That's that wasn't yours. <laughs> we did not get a donation. A donation. <laughs> I'm like, do we even have those taken, set up? <laughs> this is literally taken from, from uh, VGL stream. VGL stream. Yeah. So they did get a donation then, that was kind of fun. It was a nice big bright star. So. Although, although uh, Dia Nomine has said that the next time we do ice, which will be after this game, to do an extra two winners of 500 ice, courtesy of him and the Undersprawl. Awesome. The amazing Ben Glory talk show. So thank you for that. I and think they're going will. on after we go offline, right? So. Uh, I have no idea. Well, maybe they are. If they are, check them out. They're we'll, awesome. Yeah. We'll, take, we'll take them out. Um, so this part right here was a bit of a mis miscommunication on our end. Um, I, I, we had asked like where they were, and we said, oh, they're just now coming into their tri bush. Um, but they weren't in the tri bush. They were in the shot bush. So <laughs> they got too. on top of us um, pretty quick there. So a couple of like few misplays in the beginning and what most people will notice watching high skill tier matches is that if you do accidentally make a few misplays uh, people capitalize on it uh, and it's it, it's one reason why matches are not very long in higher tier gameplays because there's not you don't drag things out you see a mistake you capitalize on it and you you know get some objectives for it um, so they did a really good job with Fortress in the beginning, um, really putting the pressure. They actually banned Fortress from our team. Oh, nice. um, they did. Uh, and we banned Taka from uh, from their side. So if anyone didn't know what the bans were, now you do. Yep. Yeah, Gabe is an excellent Taka player. I've seen him like, stream at a ton. He's quite good at it. He is. He is very good. Um, Ms. Vixen is here. Hi, Ms. Vixen. Hello. Hi, Ms. Vixen. We love you. What's up? So once again, we're just trying to play a very defensive game. We're not really ever trying to push out because we still know we just don't have the strength to do it. Um, and they're roaming against three pretty pretty frequently. And for those in the community that don't know, most people do know, but these guys have been playing together for a very long time. So like their and synergy- they've been playing together for- For about like 48 hours maybe. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's a bit interesting, um, but but a good challenge. And like you guys noticed just then, like we're we're obviously using comms and stuff like that. So we're we're uh, able to talk to each other. Arden was able to get out using a vanguard over the wall from what could have been the kind of a messy uh, kill in the jungle. But same kind of thing. Like right now, we actually get to opportunity to split up Vox. So we choose to go down really hard on Glaive. We get the smite off on him and just kind of keep backing up. Um, I'm bleeding. So this looked like it was a really good moment for your team, but but I find the scout trap. <laughs> yeah, and like looking at the oh, so looking sad. at the broadcast, like it's funny that I was actually standing in the between three of them. Like yeah. if I could have walked anywhere, it would have been nowhere. I mean, like I pro I could have just ported home, I suppose, like yeah. right there in front of shop. But I just didn't think. 
uh, the scout traps were still going to be persisting. And looking back, that was a pivotal moment in the match. You know, mm -hmm. you got one kill, you had a 3v2, you might have been able to, you know, capitalize on that, but instead... Mm -hmm. A little Instead, bit of an unlucky break um, there. Well, I mean, yeah, to an extent, I guess. Like, I perhaps my fault for not assuming there was going to be a scout trap in the bush. Um, I think we should probably always assume. I was watching the scoreboard pretty frequently, and the number of mines that Gabe Vizzle was buying was pretty high. Yeah. Like, he was sharing some of the burden with Cole, but you'll notice, like, as the game continues to progress, even though Gabe is so far ahead, he actually doesn't beat us in defensive items, mm -hmm. per se, uh, trade for trade, because of the amount of money invested in those scouts. Um, so we had opportunities, perhaps, to play some better team fights later, which we'll see, but um, this right here is wrecked really kind of trying to decide whether he can steal the gold mine or not, but because of Glaze Afterburn being off cooldown, it just didn't didn't happen. Excellent afterburn knockback there. Yeah, he had some actually incredible afterburns this this game. So um, old school going in for the kill. We actually discussed whether or not we should chase, but I said this is probably not a good idea once we saw those two traps to continue the pursuit on the bottom. But I did see Iraqi kind of sticking around up top, and I thought, well, Iraqi likes to make plays, so let me see if I can make a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked out like you in that you moment. Play together sometimes. We do, we do. Um, and and I mean Iraqi is very good Vox. He plays Vox quite a lot often and I was kind of hoping he would stick around for what potentially could have been an opportunity for me to kill him. Um, it was a bit risky but I felt confident I could at least pick it up. So. And when you you say that you're talking to your teammates what do you mm -hmm. use to talk? Well these gentlemen I'm playing with now actually prefer Skype but normally I would use TeamSpeak or Mumble. It just so happens that uh, these guys were using Skype this day so that's what we use. There's a lot of uh, voice programs out there people yeah. can and was there anything that you picked up or that you knew from previous play? Obviously, Old School Pwn and uh, Rekt are all amazing players, mm -hmm. but they're a, you know, a different brand of player, really. Like, mm -hmm. Did you have to adapt your game, or was there anything you noticed? Like, Can you characterize their play style compared to playing with Nemesis or playing with Colab? Yeah, I think, first of all, they're very communicative, um, which is a really, I think, big thing for competitive play in the long run. Like, You need a team that knows how to communicate. And it's not just saying like, hey, like I'm getting ganked. It's being like, hey, this is how long my ult has left. Or someone just dropped and I think they're going this direction. Um, teams that are quiet may eventually find that it's going to be a little bit harder in the long run to be uh, incredibly competitive. Uh, that was another gank call we had um, in the top bush. We just kind of assumed we'd be able to get it since I had my ult off of cooldown, um, and we saw them in the bottom clearing our doubles. We just went for uh, for the kill there. But um, but yeah, like it, it, communication means a lot. And Nemesis members traditionally are not huge on voice programs. Um, but like they just don't really hop on voice very often, and communication tends to be a little lower. So that was kind of the first thing is just noticing these guys definitely like to talk and try to be strategically vocally competitive in these matches. So. Right, definitely really important in competitive matches. Being able to communicate, okay, my cooldowns are coming up in, you know, X seconds, mm -hmm. then, you know what I mean, just spot hunt, scout traps, they have flares, watch out for this, whatever. It just, makes a huge difference. Like, your Vanguard cooldown is everything is Arden. Mm -hmm. um, like, my cooldowns are not super huge to communicate as a Kroll, but it's important for me to know when, uh, like, his, you know, gauntlet is going to be ready or when old school feels powerful enough to fight. I think that's mm -hmm. a thing you don't get without it. It's like, do you feel like you're ready to fight? Like, right. is this the moment where you're hitting your spike? Is this your peak in this specific point of the game where we can now go in on them, so. Right, another big thing is too, just like communicating gold values. Like, mm -hmm. are you close to item break point? Do you want to wait a little bit longer for a fight? Do you want to like rotate into lane that your jungle pick up some more farm or something? Yeah, absolutely. Voice is an incredible asset. Um, even like, I like the, the what you're talking about. Like, let's go to lane, let's get you those few minions. Or hey, let me get this, uh, you know, minion mine. Like, mm -hmm. even though it's it's a little early I can finish this item and we can fight and it'll be worth the take so and if you joined us late uh, we did reveal the Ringo tier 3 splash art we have two other big you know major reveals to come along with a conversation about casual and rank queues maybe we can get uh, Fuji's uh, take on that as well as we talk through the details yeah, so for sure. Th there was just a sequence there, right? <laughs> uh, there was. Um, so, yeah, that, that sequence uh, was a little bit of a, an issue with us all committing at the same time. Um, so even though we actually got, we called to go on to them just then, we ended up having an issue with uh, Rekt actually threw his gauntlet a little bit further backwards than we had intended. And because of that, Cole was actually able to still get the afterburn on me before he got stunned in the gauntlet. And that afterburn put me in a pretty weird spot. Uh, and I just ended up taking a lot of damage before or old school is able to follow up. 
Um, so a, a little bit of uh, kind of coordination issues in that side of the jungle, but uh, it was definitely a fight we wanted to have. So no, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I don't think so. Okay, oh. servers are up. Servers are up. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> Given... uh, I think they're. Yeah, I don't think they're down quite yet. Okay. I don't think they're down quite yet. Um, so this part, like old school dying here, is just. This is overextension. Um, so a, a tip to people, if you're missing your first turret and you don't have vision in your tri-bush or the bush in lane, it's a good idea to just... you mean just vision? Vision, yes. Vision. If you don't have vision, uh, <laughs> you probably shouldn't be farming in the middle of the lane, near the 50 mark. Really? Yeah, like it's not a good idea. Oh, <laughs> because I mean, yeah, idea. even if you're Vox and you have your it's A no ability, vision. like if there's a fortress and a, and a, a glaive, the odds of you getting away are basically none. Yeah. Like the, they're, they're gonna gap up. close you, so yeah, and it's just, it's gonna be so, so difficult. So a little bit of overextension there. And as you can see, just looking at the scores, like they're really giving like old school a pretty hard time in the team fights. Like he hasn't really been able to pick up any kills on his own. Um, and they're uh, they're zoning him out pretty well, um, making it pretty hard to uh, to kill him. So, I just want to mention we have so many great broadcasters, uh, Twitch broadcasters, who happen to be in the chat right now. So obviously, I don't care what game Ms. Vixen is playing, you should be watching her. Follow Ferris has new two new emotes for subscribers. One of them is a Fury Deal With It emote that I is absolutely it. priceless, <laughs> along great. with a Gank emote that I think is really fun. You can actually kind of call plays while you're watching. The broadcast exceptions is here. AD Andrus is here. Black Ursus has great YouTube videos. Um, there's so many. The Halcyon Lord Gibbs uh, just goes on and on. Shin Kaigen, you know, I can't even name them all. But um, you know, thank you for being here. Thank you for playing Vainglory. And here's a really big team fight. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this team fight had there was a couple of things that happened in this one. So Rex thought they were going to pursue us, so he dropped the gauntlet in the back, and we only were able to separate and catch one person. But at that point, we were already spreading out in a pretty big line. Um, so as I was going down and attacking. Uh, old school thought that by using his A towards, he'd probably be able to pick up the kill on Araki, but he used his A into two scout trap explosions, and that turned the entire fight right at the end into uh, Gangstar's favor. So scout traps played a pretty big role in that um, specific portion of the of the fight, and we just didn't have the ultimate exactly where we needed it from Arden either. So like those tiny like little one person mistakes can add up, and when you have a tanky team. Like, they do have a fountain on the other team. Um, we should have had a fountain. Um, this was a mistake I think we made. I went Atlas early thinking we were going to have a little bit better stickiness on Box, be able to continue slowing down his attacks, and Glaive too. Um, so right here, Araki does try to flank us, but... Um, I'm able to turn and kind of like delete him from the fight. The biggest problem that happened with this team fight is we just didn't respect um, what damage Cole was going to be able to do. And he had his boots, even though I had my stun ready. Old school got the vanguard, but he actually used the vanguard oh, to... He, he got, How did he win this fight? Well, he got like, he just had the damage and I died immediately. Uh, old school got the vanguard, but... Old School used the Vanguard to clear just t a little bit too much distance, so he wasn't able to auto anymore. Mm -hmm. And when he turned around to go back in, the Vanguard dropped, and Glaive actually didn't just hit Old School, he crit him with yeah. his auto. Oh. So like it just ended up being like stars aligned, and the Cold Amig made, made a pretty big play. So one other thing it looked like he did there, and people don't necessarily think about this at all ELOs, um, he didn't use, he didn't trigger Blood Song so that he still had those lifesteal stacks. Did that mm -hmm. factor into that fight? I think it did. Um, and also he held his afterburn for a moment that mattered. Uh, if he would have afterburned at the beginning of the fight, like right away to try to catch someone, <coughs> it probably would have been uh, a little bit different as well. We also had a scout trap we could have baited him into, but I think... You know, in a game like this, like, you have some nerves, and when things are going crazy, like, you know, players are not exactly, like, going to do the thing they want to do. Um, so we had a scout trap in that bush we could have drew him into. Uh, and that's, if, I don't know if you noticed, I'm, like, trying to get there. Like, I'm, like, walking with, like, no health trying to get into the bush, but uh, we just didn't, uh, we didn't draw him in. So. so typically, Glaive is kind of considered, you know, maybe mid to a little bit lower end of, of competitive heroes, like the general perception. Mm -hmm. Like, do you think he needs, you know, let's talk about this fight first, but. Well, this, um, like the gauntlet surrounded them. And while that sometimes can be the right choice, 
at this point in the game, it, it, it wasn't. Like, between Glaive's AoE and Pulse, there's a mental thing that happens when Gauntlet goes down. And, like, what it does is it makes your team feel like, okay, like, I'm in the Gauntlet, they maybe I'm safe here. Fire. But yeah. they may not be. And and what you can do is, is if you're, like, a ranged carry and the Gauntlet surrounds a team, just you can actually, like, go outside of the Gauntlet and do some kiting. Mm -hmm. um, avoid the AoE damage that's going to come from, from Glaive. And attempt to uh, and attempt to have a little bit of a better fight. Um, that was a fight that we wanted. We went down the shop. Um, we actually bought some infusions and prepared to fight. But it just ended up being that they were able to uh, survive just a little bit better than we were. So quickly before this goes down, do you feel like Glaive is in a good place? Do you feel like he needs a small buff, or it's just because it's interesting? Because I would consider the general perception to be that he's slightly on the weak side. Mm -hmm. But then you watch Call the Meek here, and you're like, holy moly, Glaive is perfectly fine. Yeah, I think it, it's very like unfortunate that uh, that people sometimes will base uh, at this point they're so far ahead. Team fights are just uh, it's just hard. It's hard. To, <laughs> it's academic. It's hard to get back. I think before I answer your question, one more thing is if you if towards the middle of the match, and this is why I love spectator mode, is that even though the beginning of the game felt a little bit more uh, oppressive, you actually see that gold for a large portion of the game was pretty even yeah. until these team fights started going in their direction. So even when you feel like you might be behind, you might not actually be behind. I'm like, <laughs> unless I'm behind the, like the camera. You be, you're both um, so more I, important. Right. You're both more important oh, than me. Oh, no, it's over now. Right. It's so in case you join us late, this is uh, Fuji of Nemesis right. and Collab and Fusion. Wherever. Is this uh, playoff beard of <laughs> Super Evil? That's right. <laughs> and beard. Play, and beard. And beard. Yeah. And Firefly. Oh, nice. Good choice. Okay. okay. Excellent show. And this is Zcat. That's me. <laughs> of all the things. Of all the of things. things. And Sugar Venom is here too. Oh, but she's, she's hiding. Want, but she's she hiding. won't let us Hello. put her on camera today. Um, so the answer is yes, Glaive is viable. His energy consumption in the beginning of the game can hurt you if you don't know when to use your mm -hmm. afterburns. I think it's like a lot of heroes, sometimes it's not them being underpowered. Sometimes it's just a skill cap and an understanding of when you need to be effective, when you need to use your abilities. Um, and with Fortress, Glaive is really good. Right. I feel like Glaive has very nuanced play. Like, we have to choose exactly when to use to spend your energy. Because if you spend it too early, you won't. You basically only have one after at the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. If you use it on, like, a jungle minion, you're yeah. probably not doing it right. Yeah. You, I mean, it's like it's half your energy mm -hmm. for one afterburn. Um, well, these guys so. keep talking. I want to start the ICE Awards. Let's make the keyword call. Because <laughs> Call Just... the Meek, what a performance in that game. Yeah, he did, uh, he did really well. He did good. Um, that that one one v three was what really sealed the deal for their team. If that hadn't have happened, like gold mine and first turret would have definitely been in our sights, and that would have flattened out the the game. And Kroll getting like six hundred gold that quickly, plus like an ace and all of that, is like a really big deal for him. But right. just couldn't get it. But yeah, like Glaive, I, I do I do think he's good. He, he synergizes really well with Fortress because he gets an auto attack reset, and for any kind of like blood bursting going on with Fortress's uh, law of the claw ability, like right. it's a it's a big deal. So you can get one auto and then another auto right away, and you're already stacking up towards um, the stacks bursting for yeah. that. So right on top of that, there's the extra life still granted by the um, blood mm -hmm. stacks. So Glaive with the blood song with the extra health. He's pretty tough to take down. He is really tough. And, uh, the, you know, Truth of the Tooth allows Glaive to sort of gap close just by running. So he can save his afterburn for more important situations. Right. So it's a good combo. And they definitely played, uh, played it very well. Do you want to do the honors? The first winner of 500 ice this round is? Flinny. <laughs> I, or I think. It looks like Flinny. Nice. It's always a mystery. Yeah. F L E N N I I. Congratulations. We are sending you a private message on Twitch. You have to reply with your player name, or else we'll give your ice to Fuji. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't think Fuji needs ice. I don't think he so. He has either. so much of it. He is good at life. And then glory. The next winner is Kingy1974. I feel like I answered his mm. question earlier. His profile picture is terrifying. It is. It's just staring at me. It is literally staring at you. <laughs> All right. You win 500 dice. Reply to this message, or else Fuji gets your ice. Need player name. Such a mm -hmm. threat. <laughs> or or else. else. Someone else gets your ice. No. <laughs> no. Well, they're gonna watch the like 
the VOD, and then they're gonna be like, wait, oh, no. that's true. No, no, no. All right. Move. The third, wow, this is so many windows open. It's just a horrible idea. All right. The third winner of Cold Amique Ice is. Is at Lurie. At Lurie. And 500 Ice. And then next up, we have the some more ice to give. Yeah, all right. Oh, so we got Courtesy of the Undersprawl. Two more winners from Denominate and the nice. Undersprawl need player name. It's so nice of them. It is nice. All righty. All right. The first winner of 500 Bonus Ice will be. Boop, 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 boop. You know really funny? Swiss you know Cheats. One zero one. If he did, yeah, <laughs> That'd be amazing. It happens sometimes. All right. it does. Swiss cheats one zero one. Swiss cheats five hundred. Is that like under ice? Swiss <laughs> cheats. Is that like a chocolate? Like you're like trying to like not eat sweets, but then you mm. cheat on your diet. I guess so. I guess so. I mean, the cheese is pretty good. I, I couldn't figure out anything the other <laughs> names might have meant, but <laughs> All right. I'm trying really hard here. And one more winner. The last winner. Of specialness, we have so many reveals to come. Is League Nerd League underscore? Nerd. I don't know why there's some, some way the words are formed that it looks like Leg Nerd, like Leg 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 Nude Nerd. I think that's actually like more than one underscore too. That's like three. Three maybe. Hard to tell. I feel. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Five hundred under ice. <laughs> under ice. This is concerning. Would you want to win under ice? <laughs> I think so. It depends on where it came from. Under Fair ice. Enough. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like it might be a bad thing. <laughs> Maybe. All, all right. right. So those are all the winners right now. So if you just tuned in, so far we've revealed. Yeah, let's show this, this again. Thing, which is epic. This is Ringo. It's awesome. Shogun Ringo Tier 3. Mm-hmm. Any thoughts on this? You know what I love about this? This is This is something a little bit like to the left of what you're probably thinking. This gun reminds me, it's like a childhood memory of Roger Rabbit. So the gun <laughs> that they pull out, like that cool gun with the bullets in it, yeah. it, re it has that same kind of like big bulky effect to oh, it. Yeah. And it just makes me like even happier. I mean, it's on fire too, <laughs> like that's cool. But like it just, that was what I thought when the first time I saw it, it brought me some nostalgia. Yeah. And to be clear, this does translate into the game. This is not just a cool piece of art. It's awesome. But uh, you can just imagine what this will mean when you are playing Shogun Ringo Tier 3. Just you, like you come to lane, there's an unsuspecting Lane Kashka there <laughs> who's just like with no skin. No and he's skin. just like, what is happening no right skin. now? That is pretty much how it goes. Right, it's time for some very special reveals. Ooh. Mm, I thought, weren't we supposed to talk about the the casual and rank? Okay, that's probably the very special reveal, I guess. That's not the very special. Okay. We'll talk. I'm we'll... going to get rid of all of the highlights. Now we're not <laughs> talking about anything. All right, and this is a good thing uh, to also talk about with, um, with Fuji as well. So I don't know how many people saw the post that I did in the forums mm -hmm. and the Vainglory Games subreddit. Just wanted to take a minute and acknowledge that there's some player pain right now mm -hmm. around skill tier progression where people are like, I won 10 games, and then I, I didn't go anywhere, and then I lost two, and I went down, and why do you hate me, and, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, and Sad Panda, and maybe Fuji is trying to get to Vainglory's gold, <laughs> and it won't let him, and he's Sad Panda. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of Sad Pandas right now, um, and we know this, and we're very, very sorry. Zekent especially is very, very, very sorry and sorry. ashamed. Um, <laughs> It's all my fault. We are caught in a funny moment right now where casual, separate casual and rank queues are coming in 1.6. Mm -hmm. And the work toward that is already underway. The progress is already underway, but it's making the experience temporarily funky for some of you out there. And we are very, very sorry for that. Um, but we are fundamentally addressing this in um, 1.6 by separating casual and rank queues. So right. let's run through, and we haven't talked in this level of detail before. We're going to run through what precisely this means. First off, you can think of these as two new queues. Right. Really, neither one of the existing experiences on live matches what you're going to have in 1.6. Mm -hmm. In the new casual queue, you will have to go through initiation, be account level three, and do bots or gold rush, which I believe is, is the same yeah. way that it is now. So there's gating, but there's gating for the early player experience. So this is really designed to make sure that a brand new player who 
saw the game on the App Store, never played a MOBA before, isn't going to come into your casual match and run face first into turrets. They're going to, that's going to happen in a bot game. <laughs> They'll right? die in bot games first. <laughs> yeah, they will die in bot games first. They will figure it out. Um, those are the requirements for casual. Casual designed to be, you know, to have fun, to play public matches for fun. Maybe you want to try a new hero. Maybe you want to try a new item build or try something off meta. Or maybe it's three in the morning and, you're, and you don't want to put your skill tier at risk, but you still want to play the game. You still want a chance to get cards. Casual queue might be the place for you. Maybe you just like to play with friends without a lot of stress and you don't want to worry about all sorts of try hard and grinding and stuff like that. A lot of people like bots and casual queue experiences and don't even worry about the rest of it this is, you know, the home for you. Um, you will still get glory. You will, you'll get all the spoils of war that you expect now. You will get the card drops, this, you know, just as it's happening yeah. now um, in both queues. Um, the, the first one of the day, third one of the day, uh, Sinister Seven are going to apply to both queues, irrespective. So if you you know, you have a first win. Right. Three it, casuals it, and four it, rings. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you have your first win in either queue. Those, those kind of achievements are mm. above, mm. at a level above. So all of that still applies to casual. Nothing is really, you know, being taken away from casual. We're just changing it so that there's a proper intent for each queue. If you right. want, it, you know, and these games are, could still get intense. It could still oh, yeah. be, you know, it's like, it's still going to be like playing Banglory. It's just not so much about grinding for skill tier. Mm. It's about all the other stuff, right? right. We're introducing ranked queue. Ranked queue has very specific requirements because this environment is specifically for people, oftentimes like this guy and many like him, <laughs> who they want to grind for the highest skill tier they can achieve. They want to play intense, serious, or I mean, at least, not, I don't know if serious is the right word, but like intense games where they're focused on trying to win, a lot of team coordination, a lot of parties, a lot of tactics going into play. Um, you know, these are definitely try-hard matches, um, and so the intent just tends to be very different than right. casual. If, you're, if you are focused on skill tier, you go to ranked. If you want to have fun, you go to casual. Ranked is still going to be fun. There's no fun in ranked. <laughs> no fun! No fun in no ranked! No fun allowed. No, no fun. There's still, uh, there's still plenty None. of fun going to happen in ranked, but people are going to be focused on skill tiers, and Right now, they're kind of forced to focus on skill tiers, but in a more kind of mixed or casual environment, and that's mm -hmm. a really funky mix. So we're mm -hmm. fixing that. All right, let's talk about requirements for ranked queue. Yep. We've, we've never mentioned this before. Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, karma level 10 yep. is a requirement for ranked. So if you are AFKing a lot, you do not belong in ranked, you are not gonna be in ranked. Yep. Okay. So. And that's going to be, you know, this can oscillate up and down. So if you're like, I was a good player, but now I'm going to be <laughs> Now I'm going to AK a lot. <laughs> that's not going to work out for you. You're going to be, you know, kind of flunk out of ranked if you don't maintain oh, kind of the proper behavior. Mm -hmm. um, account level 10. Yep. So you have to be a dedicated player to the game to be playing in ranked. Right. If you are not a dedicated player who is playing a lot of games, then probably casual is the right environment for you. So account level 10 mm. will be required for ranked. Mm. Another important distinction, players in ranked queue cannot be farther than one full skill tier apart if they want to party together. So like pretty good bronze to like Decent-ish bronze. I think the clearest example, because people know the high end a little bit better, mm -hmm. is like the farthest range would be a pinnacle bronze player could, pay with, could play with a vainglorious bronze player, yep. but not beyond that. So if you're a decent-ish player and you want to queue with Fuji, go do that in casual, have fun, have a blast, but he's vainglorious. If you're decent-ish, you will not be allowed to play ranked together. Yep. It is kind of inappropriate for the type of matches that we're doing. And this is also, this also addresses concerns that some players have had around like one player getting carried to Vainglorious when they don't deserve it. So if you think you belong in Vainglorious, you're gonna queue with players who are around you in skill tier and you can advance and grind up. And then once you get higher, you'll be able to play with other Vainglorious tier players. Mm -hmm. So one full band apart. So if you are, you know, uh, simply amazing gold, you will not be able to play with a Vainglorious bronze player in ranked. Okay? So, um, on we go. Uh, next important thing for ranked um, 
is that the free hero rotation applies to casual queue. Right. And the reason that we're doing this specifically is not to make people necessarily unlock more heroes. It is again, it is another criteria that says if you're in ranked, you're dedicated to this game and you know what you're doing with these heroes. Mm -hmm. Ranked is not the place to be like, I'm gonna try Fortress for the first time. Let's see how this goes. Because you're gonna cost other people their, tier, your, their skill tier progression. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna play around with new heroes or play around with heroes in the free hero rotation that you've never tried before, you can do that in casual. There will still be six heroes that are free in casual queue. But in ranked, we want people playing the heroes that they know how to play. And how can we know that, that people know how to play these heroes? Because they've unlocked them and they've put time in actually playing these heroes. Right. So that is why there will be no free hero rotation in ranked. And you have to have three hero unlocks in ranked, and that is just logistical because yeah. <laughs> if you don't have three heroes and there's no free hero rotation, you could end up in a scenario where the other two people lock in ahead of you, and then you literally can't play, and, <laughs> and then, then everything would dodge. break, and then everybody would be sad. Your so car would instantly go down. down. Yeah. So those are the primary considerations. Yeah. Those are the primary requirements. There is one more thing, which is. Um, uh, I can't really speak to this because I'm not the engineer on point, but mm. there's at least progress, work in progress that is going to make the thumbs up and thumbs down have a more direct impact on the players. Um, and then that will factor into um, some of these requirements. Yep. You can speculate on that. I'm not going to spell that out only because I don't want to put the engineers in a box because I, I don't know necessarily how, you know, how far we are along on the work of that. But at least in the future, um, when those thumbs up and thumbs down come into play, so if you thumbs down someone for being toxic and there are other players who are confirming that same notion mm -hmm. and that's getting reinforced with that player, it's going to have a direct influence on that player that everyone can obviously see and that it could potentially uh, impact these requirements. It will impact these requirements right. that people have to meet. So we'll leave it at that for now. Do you have any kind of, this is the first time you're hearing this, yeah. Any thoughts on what you're hearing around casual and rank use? I mean, I, I'm super excited about it. To some extent, it almost feels like 1.6 is a bit of like a relaunch to what Vainglory is, especially yeah. for new players, because um, they're actually going to have a entry experience to the game and a casual queue where they learn and they can gain the karma needed and the account levels needed to eventually find their way into competitive play. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, like the skill tier thing is fun for people to do now, but I think a lot of players who just enjoy the game will just be happy to be in a less stressful environment mm -hmm. when this is a mobile game like it's not like other MOBAs like a lot of times people will come home after work they'll play one to two games and then they have to put their like kids to sleep and then they go to sleep and they don't want those games being like people raging um, with pings and being upset because it's like oh my skill tier dropped because you did this weird build and in casual queue it's just it's relaxed you can try things you can have fun with friends that maybe like they're your friends maybe they're not as good as you are but like you still want to play with them and yeah. you don't want to risk your skill tier it just opens up a lot of cool options for current and new players and then obviously like for ranked um i, I guess we'll kind of see like what it ends up continuing to grow into but you know for us competitive players i think we like to hear that there will be like mm -hmm. more competent players yeah. that are going to be in this one queue so. and everything we're talking about now is in 1.6 the next major update mm -hmm. not the hot fix we're doing today um, and as this continues to grow, uh, you know, as we get more heroes into the game, you will see an expansion of the ranked experience. We, you know, we're players too. We love things like draft mode. We love things that kind of make the, the hero pick experience more interesting. I think depending on how things are set up, you could see someone like Saw get played more mm -hmm. if you could tell what other people were picking, yeah. you know? So a lot more in the future, yes. you know, <laughs> so, sometimes <laughs> you just have to react. There are, there are heroes who are good counter picks mm -hmm. who might not be good blind picks. Right. So all these things, um, this is the beginning. This will, you know, create opportunities for the future as mm -hmm. the hero roster expands. So everything we're talking about now happening in 1.6, but yes, absolutely. I think there are gonna be a lot of people who maybe they never even play ranked. Mm -hmm. And that's totally fine. You're going to get your cards. You're, if you're having fun, you're playing with whoever you want, whatever skill tier they happen to be in the rank queue. It won't matter. You, you can just play and have fun, and your profile will still look cool. We're not mm -hmm. going to like make it you know, ugly for you. <laughs> you know? So like, that's perfectly fine. And then yeah. for the people who want a, you know, a more hardcore experience, they're going to get that. One more thing I want to clarify. I've seen it go by in the chat a little bit is... Um, 
casual is not going to be a free-for-all. It's not going to be like the Wild West of like, the matchmaker draws six names at random <laughs> and, and good luck with that, right? It is still, you know, you're still going to see the matchmaker try to make the best matches possible mm -hmm. based upon mm -hmm. the quality and experience of the players who are even in the casual queue. So if we're doing our job right, or if the matchmaker is doing its job right, you should still feel like even in the casual queue that you are getting you know, good games that feel fair, like that the, the enemy and, the, and your team are, are equal in terms of like we belong on the same playing field together. It is not going to be a free-for-all. Um, in both queues, the matchmaker will do its very best to give you a good competitive game. Um, very important that in ranked, um, and this is something that, you know, you've probably had prior experience with, um, it doesn't, like, you need to keep your win rate above 50%, and you need to keep winning if you're going to advance your skill tier. Right. right? right. It's, it's not necessarily, you know, that you had one good day. If you're not winning a lot more than you're losing, you're not going to see skill tier progression. Mm -hmm. Right? Maybe so, a little bit. A little bit, but... Not much. You know, so winning will, will be a key component of ranked. Mm -hmm. um, in casual... Win or lose, you're going to get glory, you're going to get cards, you're going to be able to get your daily and weekly achievements, you're going to be able to have a lot of fun. So I hope this is a lot better um, experience for a lot of you. And we're really are, we really are genuinely sorry that um, it's a little funky right now with the skill tier progression. I think now that you've kind of heard us spell this out, you can understand how um, people are caught in a funny spot right now where yeah. they're, they're trying to have an experience like what we're describing, but they're trying to have it all in with, one place. Yeah, all in one place, and yeah. it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work yeah. because people are there for different reasons. One person might be like, I'm going to try a weapon tank hybrid Celeste, and that is just not going to work out for the person who's trying to get their pinnacle silver, right? right. Like, mm -hmm. it, you know, it's just not. Yeah. So, and I think it's really important that there is that little, you still get the matchmaking working in the casual queue because, you know, if you see someone like Fuji in your game, you're probably doing pretty well in casual queue. Mm -hmm. So your MMR is probably pretty high up there. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. And I think it's really going to be like, it's an impressive way to also kind of like level set uh, people that are also like, I, I wrote about this in the forums. I, I legitimately think there are, there are hotness players, there are simply amazing players, there's POA players that are just as good, if not better than a certain range of vainglorious people that are out mm. there. And it really gives those players a chance to kind of help continue proving their skill because they can hop into a more skilled queue and continue climbing like there's there's times when i've ended a game somebody's friended me and i've accepted it and like the game was like really close and they're like essay silver and i'm like wow that's awesome like the, the fact that there's the skill is finally beginning to like saturate into right. lower tiers because like back in january it was you could play you could go on 70 game win streaks because people were still learning but mm -hmm. like now like there's so much skill spread in so many skill tiers so i think it's going to be exciting for for everyone. A couple sure. more things based on questions I'm, I'm seeing in the chat. One is we are going to try to make this more transparent so yeah. that you have a better understanding of what on earth is going on mm. with your skill tier progression. Um, we're going to definitely try to make that more transparent. Number two, um, expect longer wait times in ranked if the matchmaker hasn't found something they think is a match worthy of having everyone's skill tier at stake. So um, in ranked would take a, you know, the, the matchmaker is going to wait longer mm -hmm. if you got, say, a party of three Vainglorious Gold players. That matchmaker is going to not just be like, ah, oh, 257, let's throw them <laughs> in with some simply amazing people. Mm -hmm. It's not going to go down like that. It's going to be, it's going to say, all right, you want to party as three of the best players in the world? You're going to have to wait until Iraqi Zoro comes on, and then we'll get you in a match, right? right. So um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take its time more to try to make sure that there are fair, good matches with uh, skill tier at stake, um, probably a little less so on the casual side. Mm -hmm. um, it might, casual might even remain kind of with the YOLO 257 that, <laughs> that everyone knows and loves. That's, that's good, though, because yeah. you know, people just want to <clears throat> want to play in the casual queue. All right, more questions. If you have more questions about this, feel free to um, ask them in the forums thread on this topic, uh, and I'll try to get to more. We're going to move on from this uh, right now because we've been talking about this a lot. Mm -hmm. So, cool. yeah. Is it time? <clears throat> if you say so, man. You're the boss. All right. <laughs> If you joined us late, we're revealing like oh, okay. all the things just, today. Just to go back in time a little bit. You want to? Let's go back one more time all for right. anyone who joined us late. We have Ringo, boom, boom, boom. Shogun Ringo Tier Three. Shogun Ringo Tier Super Three. Epic. That you can speculate, so speculate at will. This does translate into game. 
Yes. And so good. next. Next, if you say so. Is it time? I think it's time. All right, I'm going to hit this button This, this right will here. be brand new to Fuji as well. Everyone yeah. here. I'm going to hit this button right hit here. It. Hit it. Boom. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> what is that? What do you think it is, Fuji? <laughs> I mean, it's an intimidating <laughs> barbarian woman <laughs> thing that's awesome. <laughs> We'll just leave it up on the screen. We are not going to explain this other than to say, um, you know, if you... This may or may you, not be something we're if, working on. If you pay attention, you know, may, I don't know, if you read the wonderful stories Sugar Venom writes, if you follow the in-game news section, you know, you know, you might be able to speculate what this is, what it mm -hmm. means. Maybe. If you have been paying attention to the kind of, you know, Vanglory community at large. Yeah. So that's that. I'm not gonna say much more about it's it. Nice take it I'll give it, give it another minute. It's nice oh, I'll give it a minute. Now, yeah. is this is this like she's got a scratch mark from Fortress because she took his bone? Is that what the the? <laughs> is that oh, what, I don't know. You, you can speculate. <laughs> I don't know. Like you know, why not? <laughs> so this is Fuji's Fuji's theory. Oh man. Is that the scratch marks on the abdomen are from taking Fortress's bone? She got Mother the Clyde. <laughs> maybe, maybe, I don't know. maybe she took Fortress's pickles. Oh no! You can't do that. It could be possible. <laughs> All right, people can <laughs> decide <laughs> what this is, what it means. This is uh, reveal. I guess reveal number three. We, yes. We revealed the requirements for yes. rank Q. We revealed the Ringo tier three splash art. We revealed whatever that is. I can promise you. It matters. It matters. I can promise All you. All the things matter. It is very important. All right. <laughs> Our server's still up? Well, so here's the deal. Um, What's going on here? Yeah. So the, the message that I got mm -hmm. was that the new update, which is not, not 1.6. Yep. This, all the stuff we're talking about is for 1.6. Hot fix. This is the hot fix that fixes the fixes that fix the fixes that fix the fix. This roller coaster we've been on since 1.5, <laughs> where we've tried to make things better and have had a tendency to make them. Uh, Maybe not better. <laughs> yeah, at least as, do as much harm as good. Uh, I think we've resolved all that, especially the black screen. <laughs> if you've been getting a black screen, you have been getting your cards, you have been getting your glory, but you've been getting stuck on a black screen. You have to hard quit and restart the app. It cleans up all the garbage like that. Um, so that is today. A lot of people can already get that version of the game in the App Store. Yep. They're not going to pull the servers down until they have a reasonable feeling that most of the world can download it mm -hmm. and then they're going to bring the servers down so i don't even know if that'll happen while we're still on stream um Sounds maybe, good. Well, maybe it won't but uh you can go check the app store if you have auto downloads uh turned on you might be downloading 1.5.4 mm -hmm. is the important thing um that you need and it will clean up the mess that uh things are in right now sounds good uh so we've done some reveals should we I don't even know. What should we do? Maybe. Should we play a game? Can we play a game? I think you can play a game. If all you right. can play a game, you should play a game, and Fuji should play. All right. How all three of us Did play? Did you bring a device, or should I grab you a device? I have one. Yeah. Okay. I'll How all of us play? We'll all right. play together. Grab your device. We'll play together. Why don't you put um, our new friend up on the screen for one more right. second? I'm going to get some water. I'm going to get my iPad. I'm going to log into North American servers. All right. North American servers. Try to take on Fuji and the devs. And uh, we're going to do more ice after this match. Zekin and Sugar Venom, keep talking to people. Hi, my name is Zekin. Um, things. Sugar Venom, ask some questions. Things. Of you? Things. Why won't you play with me? Why won't I play with you? <laughs> because you never asked me to play with you. That completely ruins the joke. You're just sullying my good name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm logging on to my ZKNT account, all caps. Yeah, I'm gonna invite Fuji and playoff here, so this should be a pretty decent match. I'm gonna just be inviting some random people from chat or from uh, my friends list, so if you wanna play, be sure to add me. Let me accept all these people real quick. Beep, 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 beep. There's so many people. I have friends requests for days. Yeah. Alright, I feel like it's like a mini game. Can I accept them faster than I'm getting them? <laughs> So the answer is sometimes no. No, sometimes no. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. <laughs> All right. I am going to host a game. Let's see. Private. 
Light. Fuji. Thanks. There you are. Found me. Found you. It's not easy. It really isn't sometimes. <laughs> There's a lot of people. I actually here. just went through. I tweeted it out, but I just went through and did somewhat of a, a friends list like spring cleaning oh, yeah? thing. Yeah. It took. Oh man. Um, about four days. <laughs> Holy cow! But I finally like. Yeah, on my main account, just kind of like, I mean, I love everyone. I love the whole community, <laughs> yeah. but I kind of just like got rid of everyone I don't really play with, mm -hmm. I don't talk to. Right, but I'm yeah, in. it did. It took, it took a while to... He, he kicked me off his friends list. Ouch. That's, that's what I meant by all of it. <laughs> hey, I accepted every request ever from the first day I played the game. I never didn't, so it was pretty, pretty thick list. All right, I'm going to warn both of you that there, is, uh, there are multiple playtests going on in the other room. Uh-oh. So we may or may not experience horrifying lag, but we do have a, uh, uh, one of the best players in the world on All my right. left. So why am I the only one on Let's camera? Let's do though? this. It feels very weird. I think everyone on the other team is like Pinnacle of Austin awesome or so. <laughs> so nice. Seems All like right. it'll be a pretty bad So we have, no, we have no excuses right now is what you're saying. You mean we might get our butts kicked. <laughs> Fuji, uh, Fuji, call the team. You're the captain. Call the team? Yeah. All right. You tell us who to play. Um, oh man. We're making this all on you, so if it's a loss, it's entirely your fault. Exactly. Uh, so this is kind of fun, if you want to do it, maybe. If you, do you like Jewel? Do you sure. like CP I'll Jewel? Play, I'll play whatever you like. <laughs> oh, so, I Jewel know what lane. you're going to say. Alright. Do you like Fortress? Are you okay with playing Fortress? I can play Fortress. Okay. Fortress Jungle? I thought, I, I was so sure you were going to say Kashka so that I could oh, lock you down want to for be the... Kashka? No, no, this is your call. Oh. I mean, you can be Kashka. You Shut be up! Kashka. You're tell me what to do. Just do, 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 do <laughs> fortress. Shut up. Shut up and tell me what to do. Just do, do fortress. No, okay. Fortress is, fortress is good. Fortress is good. I haven't played a lot of fortress. And then I'm gonna Ringo in jungle with you. Sounds good. I'm liking this. So I'm CP Jewel. Yeah, yeah. Why right. not? Sweet. Why not? Go laser with people. Well, I mean, you guys can build you want. I don't want to be. I feel like. I don't want to be in that much control. <laughs> All right. First, you're gonna build boots. Excellent. <laughs> I feel like I'm like boots a first. Ray captain. <laughs> <laughs> Play all of them at once. All right, let's do this. We'll show them what's up. The other team. Hey, stop sniping our picks, guys. <laughs> Come on. They're waiting to see the picks. That's awesome. Oh no, it's Neon Fire and Keldegar. This is not pushover. Ah, it's a saw. I love it. Pedal. I love it. I'm not ready for right, this. What am I building? Range. What do you want me to build? The triple range. Stuff like fountain and like fountain shiver and steel players. and you can do whatever contraption. I, here's what I'll say: you build a fountain, and everything else can just be yours. Whatever you want to do. And the world <laughs> after that, the world is my oyster. The world is your oyster. You don't even have to build a fountain, man. You can do whatever you like. And on uh, fortress, you like maxing the A or the B? I definitely think B is the B is the the better. B is the better of the two. B is to max option. first. I think whether you max your ult or no, A my brightness can a be situational. It's a little bit dark. Yeah, fix your brightness. What the heck? I was making sure we had enough batteries to last the entire stream, and I realized we were only playing two So games. you got to call shots this entire game so that the players can hear you call the shots. So right. what are we doing? Are we doing anything off match start? We're just doing the normal little clear. Little clear Do the normal little clear. I love it when it goes invisible. Is that your favorite part? It's my second favorite. <laughs> What's your first favorite? <laughs> when it's uh, not. Ah, <laughs> do you love it when they do true damage? That's actually uh, that's actually my third favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on who I'm fighting as, I guess. All right, I'm beating up Vox and Lay. They do so much damage. It's amazing. <laughs> they do. Uh... Uh, so, I'm going to admit this. I have not played a lot of Fortress on live yet. I, I tend to be very... What is the word? I, I don't know if task-oriented is the word. Like, I like to focus on one hero and spend a ton of time on that hero and then move to the next one. And so, I haven't really caught up to Fortress yet as excited as I am to play more Fortress. Oh, yeah. So, that's good though. Uh-oh. We'll I'm see being, what happens. Uh, ganked, Gan seems. Gankarino. There are many people in my lane. Well... Fend them I'm gonna, off. Uh, I'm fending them off. I kill a onion. Uh, if you are typing in the chat, we likely will not see it <laughs> because we are gonna try to not let Fuji down. This is true. <laughs> this is this is good. This is just casual, man. Casual relax. They're after me. Oh, we're still people we're there. in casual queue right now. Is that what this you're is saying? Casual queue. We are casuals. <laughs> 
Alright. This will be fine. They appear to have left the lane. So let me ask you a question. How early do you like to start ganking with a fortress? Um, basically, you can gank whenever you. It's it, maybe it's less time based, more position based. So like, if your laner lets the other laner push up, then the laner can just call for a gank, and then you can go up and do it. And with the fortress Ringo, it's pretty hard to survive uh, a gank if you if you pull it off correctly. So basically, you're saying it's Zekan's fault. It is my fault. <laughs> oh, his fault. Like you know, we could like we could run up here right now. I can land on him and push him backwards, and he's dead. Boom, done. Ooh, I kill stole. Awesome. Good job. KS. I'm supposed to be the, <laughs> the support. You mean the carry. <laughs> That's true. Fortress carry and a... Fortress best carry. Fortress oh, I found both of them. I found all of them. Oh. A... There's this pedal on me. I'm not sure if I should be concerned or not. I'm a little bit concerned. I'm gonna run away from her. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna back off. I really like Fortress. I really like just the amount of objective control, the amount of vision control, just the information that you can gain. I think that's the most underrated. Oh, sorry. I think that's the most underrated part of the kit is just like you can use Attack of the Pack, and if one wolf goes all the way to the other team's base, then it's like, all right, someone recalled. It's a two v three right now. Can we make yep. anything happen? There's a lot of that. Great. Very true. <laughs> he's got he's got really good early game control just all around the board, so I'm a big fan. I'm glad you're a fan. He's getting a lot of play in uh, BGL ESL, a lot of competitive play right now. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Is there anyone that you feel like, yeah, this person is like a perma ban right now, I hope S SEMC does something about this person. Is there anyone who falls into that camp right now? I know you've told me you think 1.5 is in a lot better shape with Hero Balance than prior updates. Yeah, but. I think it is. So I don't think there's anyone necessarily that's perma ban. There's just certain uh, characters that people would just prefer not to go against. So like CP Jewel is in a place right now where teams feel probably like they can do really well, but it comes down maybe to like a big red button killing your whole team late game. And sometimes people don't want like something that can be so devastating but it uh, you can easily dodge it like there's there's definitely ways to get to get around it but um i, I don't know like it's just it's just kind of up to like up to the players to figure out what they want to deal with and what they don't mm -hmm. but it's not like um the patches before where there was oh, definitely no. someone who was just this super super overly strong threat so weapon power box is actually still really really strong True. Sure. So he is quite powerful. He has quite the potential. Yeah, we saw there was kind of like a brief lull where people were trying to figure out what they should do with Vox, and then a massive uptick in, in, in uh, weapon Vox play at competitive tier. Yeah, the amount of damage weapon Vox can do right now is pretty much like always going to be sustainably higher than what CP Vox can do. Um, and right now, early mid-game pressure is pretty popular amongst a lot of teams, mm -hmm. so it's nice to have the weapon power to back that I'm up. I'm just pushing. I did it again! You're the best! You are carry. This is really dumb. You, you are team carry. Around. At least, like, when we pull up the scoreboard, it'll look like I did a good job, even <laughs> though I should really not be getting these kills. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> Once in that match was enough for you? Adam. I, I, I'm forever fearful now. Forever. Not fortunate. I leveled up right as he used pressing fire, and I just laser beamed him. <laughs> ah, the joys of Crystal Jewel. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, she's she's really she's really fun. I, I honestly I really I, I like the element of her ultimate. I think if, if you know if you're stuck in her ult, if she if she just nails you with it, like you should be punished for for, for that. But uh, the thing that makes her really hard for teams is the reaction time required to not die to her ultimate is like. I feel like one of you small. should shift over because only I'm the only one on camera and it's weirding me out. Oh, All right. Sorry. I mean, I would have to like we're, our like arms are like interlinked. <laughs> isn't that isn't that lovely? That's I mean, like I, I, that's I, I, like foo love. Really good friend. That's we foo love right the there. Best that's all that is. Uh oh. Oh, I don't want to be uh, suppressing I'm fire. Seeing a lot of money. Oh no. Lots and lots of money. Come on, Dead. noob. Uh oh. I am a noob. Gonna play off your level. Some freaking noobs right here. 
Yeah, that's another kill for me. I'm three and zero. Oh. You're the best. Support three and zero. Oh. You're the greatest You're the carry best in the game. Around. Da, 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 da. <laughs> don't Very strong. Don't kite my wolves, saw. That's just rude. He did like nothing to me there. That was fantastic. I noticed the new um, bleeding like oh, yeah, animation in the uh, in the little thing you guys did on stream the other day. Yeah. How do you like it? I like think the it's blood was a little cool. excessive before. Well, like I think it was the, like it. <laughs> it was it's like a Saturday it. Night Live routine before, like yeah. the amount of hemorrhaging going on. <laughs> it was something. I just, I think it's easier to see now, like when someone's bleeding too, because it's, a, it's a brighter, more like upfront. Oh, kind of I thing. found everyone. Oh, and I did, I panic triggered my, uh, I panic. Coming friends. I panic triggered my uh, fountain while at full health, Doing. which is like just a horrible thing. It's just stupid and horrible. That was a really nice old. <laughs> that was, it was okay. Yeah, okay. It wasn't my fortress fly, but it was pretty line. good. That was a max value ultimate. <laughs> so much value. That was value city. Trump. This is true. Trump Red Great streamer. I like watching him quite a lot. If you joined us late, we revealed Ringo Tier 3 Splash Art. We revealed, uh, we talked about the requirements for ranked Q coming up, got into all the details. We showed art that is very important and we didn't explain it. Um, and I'm sure people have all sorts of images on Twitter at this point about that. So one thing you guys might notice I'm doing with Jewel is like, when turrets are shooting, they ask turn around and like eat the shot. So it reduced my uh, perk will reduce the damage that I'd be plating. Quite good. And we still have one more big reveal to come. We still but are going to show. More? Yeah, but wait, oh, there's more. We're going to show a tier tier three in-game footage, and it's not Ringo. Ooh. It is a different hero that we're going to show tier three in-game footage of, and it's my favorite, which is why we left it, it is, to the end. Oh, it is your favorite? Awesome. My favorite. Mm. My favorite thing. So stay tuned. That'll be uh, pretty close to the very end of the broadcast because uh, Fuji is evil like that. <laughs> Fuji, why you gotta be evil like that? All right, damn, coming up. I'm gonna jump on turret him. bleed. Make it bleed oh, oil. I'm on him. Uh oh. Big damages. Awesome damages. If only I had my ultimate. I got it up in ten seconds. That's good. We'll hang out just a little longer then. Yep. Oh, I didn't mean so to leave. I, mean, I didn't so mean to lunch. I wanted to just scare him with the prey mark, but then I lunched. All right, my ult's up. Oh, they oh. see me. So mechanically, <laughs> I just said, okay, hold on. I'm ready to fight. So ready. Oof. That was a good little job out of you. Oh, uh, that's gonna hurt. Nice. That is not gonna feel good in the morning. No, it will not. Or in night. <laughs> Fuji, oh, oh look off. at this, and I can do that, and then you have to oh, come. That's all right, we'll keep it up. Uh, you can't run away. This dude can't run away. Oh, I didn't get that one. I wanted to steal that one, <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, that's all. Damn it. The first. Right, I was like, the, go it's like my carry. I could totally take another one from my carry. At least I, I, like at I, least I stole that minion. Alright, let's get rid of this turret because it's in my way. I got the minion mine. It's in your way. Oh, it is in my way. It's totally in my way right now. I'm gonna come behind this pedal because I should be 4 0 right now because Fuji took my kill. Ah, this pedal's killing me. Oh my goodness, I'm alive! The play is. Mine! <laughs> no! Alright. This is not going horribly. This is not going horribly? That is yes. true. This is going quite well. I think we're doing great. We should go take our other minion mine, and we can push their turrets down and kill them some more. It'll be good times. Mm -hmm. Gold mine is almost if you join us late, we have more things. More things? And we'll show things. Do you want this one too? Yeah, we can do it. Um, let me ask you a question, Mr. Vanglorious. Mm -hmm. When do you take... So we, we made the changes to the minion mines. 
much more lethal against turrets, more important, you can't kind of abandon your lane anymore. When do you take minion mines now? Like, what have you come to any conclusions based off of, you know, the changes that have been made? Um, well, there's some strategic times you can take minion mines. So let's say your laner is really interested in dueling the other laner. Um, you can actually set it up to where in the middle of the fight, as long as there's like a lot of uh, minion mines available, um, you can uh, ship a steel. You can actually just have your jungle like capture a mine in the middle of the lane fight, so the minions upgrade, and you can potentially like turn that fight. Oh wow, yeah, that's a good point. Um, so so just to make sure option. people understand that. Now with the minion mines, your lane minions will upgrade immediately upon taking the minion mine. And so then if you're fighting on top of minions, those minions will start to do more damage to the enemy. Yeah, this is very correct. That's a really good point. Um, also, it just depends on when you want to push. Like, I definitely think it's dangerous to give uh, to get both minion mines if you're not committed to pushing really hard because the amount of gold and experience that the other team can get can actually pull them back into the game. I think the thing that players have to think about most though is like if you can't get the other team's minion mine, if, if your only option is your own minion mine, when would you take it at this point? Is it purely circumstantial or is there any any like simple statement that people can keep in mind when they're trying to play the game better? Mm. I mean I don't, I'm not sure like if, if, if they get their minion mine then you should probably get yours. Um, unless you're behind and you want the lanes pushing to your, or the minions pushing to your side of the map. Like, there's an option. The other time is if maybe you're really close to finishing that item that you really need, um, and that's a, maybe a 200 gold payout or something for you, then go ahead and grab it then as well. Uh, but no, I, I wouldn't say there's one blanket statement that's like, this is when you take the minion mine. Um, Similar to other MOBAs for objective control, it's just, it's very situational. Like when I you want to catch home. somebody. So people. They are beneath us. We should. Kill all of them. We should. I see pedal minions. minions oh. Ooh. I'll go play with him. Oop, I pushed the wrong button. I gotta turn on those uh, bigger activatable items. It's very helpful. How do you like that anyway, Boogie? Uh, it's amazing. Like a huge, 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 huge benefit to players, especially laners that require reflexes to stay alive or squish your characters. That, really that turret was it. also in my way. That'll be a death. I just kind of traded. The noob died again. <laughs> I did. He's our team feeder. I am the feeder. I'm the only one who's dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna jump on this guy. You ready? Oh, I missed, I missed, oh, by the way. Oh, sad panda. I'm playing, oh, you, you I'm noob playing with two. noobs. Oh, oh, noob number two. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, noob number three coming up. Stop it. <laughs> so, Fortress alone. <laughs> Is more like a tree house, less of a fortress. Yeah. <laughs> but he <laughs> made up sticks. Hey, I got 168 gold right there. Decent gold payout collected. Decent gold payout collected. Worth it. That was all me. See, it was all part of the plan to keep away from our gold mine. I yeah, really sure. wanted to try to finish without a death. Nah, I won't let that happen. I got my double clockwork. Probably not the best build ever, but why not? You guys just, uh, you know, wanted to make sure I didn't feel lonely. Exactly. Down here at the bottom. <laughs> well, double clockwork's not like. It's too bad solid on, 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 Jewel. on Jewel, and like with an infusion, your jumps are like between like four and five seconds. Oh, I should have yeah, bought an infusion just pretty, then. Pretty devastating. That would have been a better use of my gold. I uh, would go with my B on accident. Oh, well, never mind. Yep. I was like, <laughs> leaving, I was leaving at level four, <laughs> and then I like, I saw a plus, I was like, oh, I'm gonna hit this, and I was like, oh wait, I hit the wrong one. That's awesome. But it's okay. I have too many activatables right now to do the this wrong. Guy. Ooh, wow. Oh, he didn't die yet? Come on. What were you thinking, man? I'm gonna do things to you. Alright, I can tank this, guys. There are more Dude, turrets wait, in our way. Can tank this too. That war yeah, I have things. Lovely. Oh, I shouldn't be in range of two turrets, so that would be less optimal. Alright, think you won the game, guys. Yeah! Good job, team. If you bet Fun. on us, you win nothing. True. You win exactly nothing. But there will be ice awards after this match. <laughs> you win. GG. Poor bet. I only died once because of these noobs. Cheers. Cheers it. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> I do think the okay majority of the time feels like the sarcastic answer to it's what like people okay. are saying. Like someone's agree. like, go here, and they're like, okay. Okay. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yep. Yes. Alright, good game. Thank you, Vincent Toy, Calvary, and Neon 16. Fire for playing with us.
And they're good players. They are, they are. Game. They are quite excellent. If we played three times... Well, they picked Saw and they picked Pedal. Like, they're good they're, players playing some maybe underappreciated heroes. Heroes that have a little tougher time navigating. We went like a try-hard, like, yeah. huh? <laughs> But when you go to the other room, um, Pedal, the last time I played Pedal, a little OP internally. Uh -oh. A little OP internally. <laughs> a little bit more than a little. <laughs> Don't ruin, yeah. her, don't ruin your pedal. <laughs> She's crushing I face. Am tired oh, so Sugar Venom of is talking. You being okay with all the Koshka happiness and then saying my pedal is OP when she finally gets some love. No, I'm. No one could be happier because I want to see the Bug so Pedal skins. Excited. <laughs> I want to see. I yes. think uh, Bug Pedal is yeah, probably yeah. my favorite skin. Yeah, it's really You know, cool the tier two now. is even more fun and. Mm -hmm. All people right. can't do it right now. Should we um, do a quick, quick recap of yeah, the things? Yeah, let's do it. Yes, please. All right, first off, we have awesome Ringo, nice. who is very awesome. Tier 3, Shogun Ringo. And then we have her, who is also very awesome. Well, we're not talking about this yet. No. You can probably put it together for yourself. And then we talked a little bit about ranked and casual matches and stuff. Yeah, you can watch the replay and hear all the details because <laughs> I'm not going to do it again. No rehash. There were finally, many things. Whoa, 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 are we doing this right now? Oh, wait, let me do ice first. Oh, okay, we'll do ice first. Let me do ice first. We'll do ice first. And we'll we should like also try to find out if five more, five more viewer matches. Because if the servers think, are... Right? <laughs> wait, so hold on. Let me ask, are servers still likely to go down while we're streaming should we stay on the stream question mark <laughs> this is we'll find out. neon fire said that that Let was me their, their, <laughs> their message that pedal and saw want wants some love I see. oh I see. that was their hidden message so they saying. used the dev stream to send a message <laughs> you should have lost on ring we should have lost <laughs> We should have right? lost. Yeah, we should have lost them. All right. Oh, man. Maybe they weren't trying as hard as they should have been then. Uh-huh. So, Secret messages. All right. So in my opinion, both Zekent and Fuji played like noobs. We so, did. So, so noob weird. will oh, be noob. Type, oh. type noob. So type noob. Playoff noob. To, to playoff noob. <laughs> playoff noob. <man. laughs> no. It's I already said it's too late. Oh. Type noob to win ice. Kill still might have been another... <laughs> okay, you're right. Kill Steel King. Noob, noob feels good though. Noob. I'm okay with being a noob. Sometimes right, so it's fun that way. This is going to be two winners of 500 dice mm -hmm. and one inductee into the One Ice Guild. Ooh. Ooh. Lucky someone. Are you, do you fear the One Ice Guild that one day they will show up and take you on? I feel like there's some kind of inherent power related to having only one ice <laughs> on your account that I don't know about. Well, some yet. of them are, have like, thank you for anyone who supports the game by buying ice. Thank you. Oh, by the way, if you haven't um, uh, rated Vanglory in the App Store recently, mm -hmm. that makes a huge difference as well. You can do that every update. So um, for 1.5 and now probably 1.5.4, please do rate us on the App Store. I mean, thank you for supporting us. Some of the people have supported us with buying ice. So they have like like 801 ice that's nice right but the only way you're yes, gonna get that chat one like we are, you know what like this, angry at this chat reminds what me of I being do? in fall of ferris's stream <laughs> ouch ouch that's wrong although you have you have to agree he's got maybe the best emotes anywhere now because yes, no. that fury emote is off the chart so it's worth subscribing to uh ferris's channel just to get that emote even if you you know Oh, he's told me, so I had to get him back. All right. Good. <laughs> it's, it's all Even if games. you think he's a noob. All right. all right. That's plenty of people. You can stop spamming now. Let's do some winners. The first winner is 500 ice winner is... Cometa. Cometa. Congratulations. Winner of 500 icicles. 500 ice. icicles. Oh, Brizzle McFizzle has the emo. That's amazing. Yay. We best hot dog NA. <laughs> <laughs> no contest. <laughs> Need player Only name. Only I've seen it, hey, though. So, someone else has to step up, or else she can't really have any competition there. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be the exact same thing, though. It like, should... best hamburger? I don't know. And hot dog? I have to give this some thought. Best otherwise, chicken NA. Otherwise, it has to be more, like, like good and evil, like oh. a different color scheme on it or something. I don't know. I'll what's have to get polar sausage in it. Yeah, exactly. What's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the 
the foil to a hot dog. <laughs> best, be, oh, I got best bratwurst in it. Oh, okay. Someone has to do best bratwurst in it. All right. Oh, All right. Man. The next winner of 500 Ice is Pro Made. Moselle. Moselle. Pro made Moselle. Pro made Moselle. I hope that's what that person Madden looks Moselle. like. I hope that's Pro not like a 60. Player. It could just be a 60 year old man nah, behind it, that it's, art. It's Pro Mademoiselle. Oh, that's. There we go. Now that just took on a whole different context. Oh, did I All read right. that completely wrong? Yeah. Uh, uh, the capitals are kind of. I'm not. I'm just putting words in random order. Madame Pro Mademoiselle 500 word, wins. Is this is not making any if sense. If that's how you say Mademoiselle, I feel really it's dumb. Right? <laughs> I it's, no, no, no. It's Mademoiselle. Okay. Right. Mademoiselle, <laughs> not Mademoiselle. Oh, All man. right. We're gonna send you a message. You have to reply to it. I always feel really bad when I don't get like names. Yeah, it's really difficult sometimes yeah. though. Like sometimes people have like a clever name and I'm just like, bleh, 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 and they're like, no, it was this one. It only happens to noobs. Oh man. All right, so this is the One Ice Guild winner, right? I just did two? Yep, yep. All right, somebody. Somebody's gonna join the One Ice Guild. If you don't know what this is, it is a made up thing that we made up, <laughs> but um, if But you, it's going somewhere. Yeah, so. Uh, exceptions VG he's a great broadcaster he is the leader of the one ice guild you can find him the one ice guild they can get together and uh, give us a little heads up but they can surprise a team on the dev stream demand a match with them and uh, and try to kill them and they have to come and they have to they have no say it doesn't matter where they are or who they are okay or where they're from or, what they or did. where they're from or what they did yes the one, ice, the one ice inductee is, and everyone can stop saying noob now. We got everybody. The one ice inductee is. Dun, da, da, dun. <laughs> lukewarm 007. <laughs> it's a funny Not combination. It's like 007, but lukewarm 007. It's like, yeah. it's like a it's margin. Like James, it's like James Bond. Like a marginally, <laughs> a marginally handsome man yeah. who has some game mm -hmm. and might be able to jump out of a helicopter on the back of a good like person who knows how to skydive. That's true. That's probably lukewarm 007. A loose tie, yeah. <laughs> an overfitted like suit coat. Joins the lukewarm 007. Ice Guild. Solid name. Find exceptions. Yeah. It'd be interesting to be like there in the moment when people like realize their their names whenever they make the name yeah like not just hearing the story of why did you think of it but like be there when it's happening like boom genius idea lukewarm 007 brilliant came to me in a dream congrats lukewarm 007 part of the one I that's killed. amazing that's incredible how nice all right and shall we round things off with i want to see if i got a response to the skype this is we just... got no response to the skype should you remind me i remember find out Still waiting my... Well, we can show this anyway. Okay. It's time to show something special. All right. So, again, <laughs> first time we're showing anything related to Tier 3 today. Well, second time we're showing... Anything live. Ever. I mean, today. Three. Yeah, we showed... Well, the I mean, just today is the first day. Okay. Um, and this is the first time we've ever shown in-game like, footage. Just he got right? you. <laughs> this is the first time we've ever shown in-game footage of what Tier 3 will look like what it could mean to the heroes of Vainglory. Here we go. I think you're going to have fun with this. This one. Kashka. Candy Twirl Kashka I Tier 3. That. It looks even better not on our, okay our right stream. Now, but wait. Oh, man. <laughs> just Ooh, wait. Just wait. <laughs> just wait for it. <laughs> so cool. All the rainbow effects. And yes. Wow. Yes, what you are seeing. I don't know how well you can see it here. She has like her own emoticon set where she does things like whether it's aggressive or whether it's out of love. These things oh, pop up. Oh, that's so up. cool. <laughs> they pop up. The the uh, buff icon is, for her heroic perk is idea. also different, of course. Oh, so yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> you can see the twirly death, that bright rainbow color. Different than the tier two. I love the color scheme on this. The splash art is super, super fun too. We're not showing that yet, but it's all about these little emotes that are popping up as she does abilities and they'll just like string after you. So if she dances around and hits a lot of people, yes, so there. That was actually a sneak peek. The ultimate is a sneak peek into the splash art to some degree, but uh, yeah, this is just. It's pretty awesome. It's it really cool. It is just outrageous. <laughs> Yeah, people saying, shut up and take my money. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, Actually, for this, you can give us your money with ice for the tier one. After that, you're going to have to um, 
get cards from winning games and get cards from the market in 1.6. That's gonna be a lot easier in 1.6. Here's the close up. And you wait, wait, you're gonna show the cool things, right? I know it will happen. There's, all right, there's one. You don't have anyone to fight, but I think you can still make some of these trigger with Twirly Dad. All right, so there you see one of those emotes and he's just dancing <laughs> through the sky. And look at the... Okay, yeah, good call. Look at that. But yeah, so I love it how... There it is, so... <laughs> oh, look at that, the stars! And then the face. Yeah, different <laughs> eyes. That's cute. Yeah. I love it. So, yeah, and what I, I, I particularly love, like, you can kind of, like, dance around and hit things and get those to pop, whether it's the heart, there's the heart, or the face, or whatever it is, like, just, yeah. like, pop over and over again as you, you know, attack them. So, you know, maybe... With a lane cost, they would have blast with this. Or... Oh, yeah. And of course, this is with like super cheater items, not like zero cooldowns and all, but still. Yes, yes there's, still no, cool. there's no pay to win with the skins. It will not make you be able to twirly death constantly. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, also, the claws. The claws are rainbow colored too. It's yeah. a really, really fun skin. She's got the hoodie on with the ears. And you can see those, what she just leaves those symbols trailing behind. Yeah. Pretty oh, awesome. man. It's the, my girl. The cosplay opportunities are just like, that's you just this made. <laughs> Off the charts. Yeah. This, you're going to see Kashas everywhere. Amazing. Amazing. So I'm going to go check real quick All right. and see if we should stay on the air. Otherwise, we're going to get this guy uh, trying some things, trying pedal changes, <laughs> jewel changes, <laughs> making sure that uh, we're in a good place. We think we are, oh, but that's why we bring players. Those pedal in. changes. I don't know. I got to read yeah. about them a little bit. Very, I just seen it. Just very read. interesting. Just read them. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Yep. Something I completely forgot. Something he completely forgot. Oh my gosh, All right. Something I completely forgot. Oh yeah. This Here thing is you can see it glows. Yeah, I don't you have to hold it like can... really close. Oh, yeah. this is pretty heavy. Wait, you're not doing a good job. Apple Design Award 2015. It glows. It has something on this side. Winner. Winner. We are winner. <laughs> winner. We are so we winner. won an Apple Design heavy. Award for uh, that innovation. Heavy. That's cool. Uh, outstanding design and innovation. Thank you so much, Apple. We're very, very grateful mm -hmm. for this. It's a huge honor. They also, you know, featured us in the App Store. Um, really, really cool. And um, to celebrate this, Double Glory Weekend. Yep. It'll nice. be starting in just a few minutes, probably. Yep. Um, all weekend long, Friday until the beginning of Monday. Double glory for everyone globally. Yeah, it lights up when you touch it. Um, I was wondering how to turn it on. I was like, oh, yeah. you just like grab it and like it lights up. It's super cool. If it wasn't for all of you, you know, supporting the game, we would not have been, you know, on anyone's radar screen. We would have not been able to win this big award. And to celebrate this, uh, double glory weekend all weekend long. Yep, get that glory. It's and pretty important next patch. Yeah, you can use the glory to get cards in the next big update in 1.6. So very, very important. Nice. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you uh, for helping us make this game better, update over update. Very, very big deal. So we're going to celebrate with Double Glory Weekend. Yep. I'm going to find out what the status is oh. on the uh, hotfix. Girthy. Yeah. So, what are your biggest, like, What's your biggest feedback about this last patch? The 1.5 patch? Yeah. Well, I feel like the number one thing was just balance. Like, it just, there's so many team comps going into every game. There's right. just like, there's Krolls, there's like, that you really didn't even see before. Like, you see Jewel and Kashka and Catherine and even Arden. Like, you just see so much. And like, a tragedy perhaps towards the end of previous patches would you would at least in North America, you would see like the same comps. Right, like, like the patch. two comps, same two. And like, I will say, granted, for all MOBAs, you're always generally going to have a subsection of the entire pool that is gonna be more popular during that time frame. Right. But you guys made the subsection really large, and that's not easy to do at all. Like, it's hard to balance characters yeah. in a way that like people feel like they're viable, but also continue to maintain like a character's identity. Mm -hmm. So you don't feel like you're changing the way a character acts right. in order to make them viable. Um, so I, but that's my favorite. Like hands down, just like of all the things that could have came out, I just love the fact that the game has just felt more fun to play for the last uh, like month or so so far since it's been out. So awesome, awesome. We don't need to uh, stay on air because the server downtime is going to be so short. Okay. It's, not even going to be relevant. Uh, let's figure out who's streaming right now. Well, I, I promised somebody. 
promise. I told, I told, I've told someone and I don't, I don't remember who it was. I, I, I remember. It was too, well, see if was it right Gabe Bizzle? Yes. Okay, right. thank God. Yeah. I'm like, I think it was Gabe Bizzle. It was it. Let's make sure he's on. So Gabe Bizzle, okay, um, right. Vainglorious player. He's All right, he right is now. on. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> So uh, we are going to host Gabe Bizzle, and it would mean a lot to me if all of you would do a really big Super Evil Mega Raid. Really, really make it a big one. So yeah, definitely go check him out. Gabe Vizzle yeah. is a great... Tell us a little bit about Gabe Vizzle real quick. So he's a great player that primarily um, finds himself in support roles, but he also can flex himself into carry roles with, if needed. And that's a sign of a really great player because while he may be the most talented in his support, he understands the needs of the other positions so he can really play to the strengths of protecting and providing... Uh, the support the team needs. Um, he's Vanglory Silver. Um, I played with and against him for a very long time now, and just a really solid, nice guy as well. So. Yeah, it's an excellent player. You can learn from him. It's going to be fun. So everyone, please, I'm putting the link. I'm spamming it now in the chat. Please go here. Represent for me. Make it sound cool for me. Go here. Type Super Evil Mega Raid. Tell him that we sent you, and uh, give him a follow. A really, really good player. It's going to be a fun broadcast. Thank you so much for joining us. Double glory all weekend. Have fun. Play a lot. Farewell. All right. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye. 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 See you. Well, I end on this flash. Oh, that's not